Thunder and jacket already. Thank you, so you Jen. Know that's what's going to happen. You're well, yeah, 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 it's inevitable. Thank you so much. Demystifying, starting off. Start with your pajamas. Work your way up. Work your way up. Brilliant. Wicked. Thank right. you. See you right. soon. Good morning, welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarty, and this hour, well, not this hour, the next four hours, um, I've got some cracking quilting action coming up for you. I've got Andrew Atwood, I've got Lucy Brennan. Shall we have a look at how today's shaping up? Let's take a look. Here we go. So, 8 a.m. quilt as you go masterclass with Angela Atwood. Oh, yes. Now, these are the express quilts. So, these are slightly different to the usual quilt as you goes. Then, 9 a.m. Not only do we have Lucy doing the beautiful diamond wedding ring quilt, but we also have our so special, and it's a cracker for day seven. And then, 10 a.m., we've got the westerly quilting hour. Uh, we've got Angela in for that as well. And uh, she might do a spot of quilting from the quilt that we make at 8 a.m. because that's what you asked for. So that's what we're bringing you. Uh, and then at 11 a.m., we've got a crossed branches mini quilt, which is absolutely beautiful. And I will show you a little sneak of that in just one moment. So today, oh, the big box, nine o'clock. If you've been watching every single day so far for the first six days of our 12 days of Christmas, are going to love it. Uh, so, oh, did you, did you not hear me? Did my mic go? Where did my mic go? Hang on, let me just check that it's behaving itself. It's all there, should be behaving. Anyway, uh, so, can you hear me now? Am I back? Hello. Uh, so, what was I saying? Oh, the big box. Yeah, bit of sellout every single day and today. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. We've looked, we cannot find this anywhere else in the UK and there's a little bit something special in there that you won't get anywhere else. Mm, bit of a tease. And if I just say, <coughs> Anna Marie Horner, <sighs> not as too much of a, a hint there. No, no. Right, so I'm not gonna tease you with that anymore. There you go, Jay. Thank you very much, my love. Right, diamond wedding ring. Nine, yes, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Woohoo! We've got that. And, well, I'm, I'll show you what we've got. And of course, the Westerly rulers. And then we also talked about mini quilts. How gorgeous is that? And that has come out of Stuart Hillard's 100 quilt book, which we're going to look at in a lot of detail because it's beautiful. And then you've got, um, well, you've got a hundred different ideas for different quilts to make. Scraps, all out of scraps, fabulous. Uh, now, uh, how to get in touch, how to watch, all of that kind of thing. Let's head to the website. There I am in the beautiful quilt again. So you head to sewingquarter.com, click on watch on that top bit, and there we will be. Ta-da! Oh, look, there you go, there's, there's the other quilt. And then you can message us. It's always good to hear from you. Message the studio there. And then, oh, <laughs> Hannah meant to write hello, but instead uh, just wrote her own name. 
Well, yeah, that's how awake we are this morning. Well done, Hannah. <laughs> oh, it's all going swimmingly this morning. <laughs> and then underneath will be all of the products <laughs> on the day show. So in case anyone is in any doubt as to who is producing today, it's Hannah. <laughs> Fabulous. So without further ado, it's all about course as you go for this hour. Now, normally we bring you uh, ones where you get the 12 inch blocks and you don't quilt anything bigger than that. But Quilt As You Go also have an express range, which are bigger quilts. And we'll show you the finished size in just one moment. Bigger quilts, but it's still done as one whole thing. So for example, this, this is, is like, like a massive great big log cabin, but it's all done in one go. And this is on your polyester batting wadding, batting because it's American, so I say batting, but it's wadding, it's the same thing. And, uh, and we've got this in a fabulous bundle. Do you want to see the fabric that we've got? Gorgeous, Heather Bailey fabric, um, uh, which is just, oh, oh, it's got the octopus, it's got the golden octopus in here. This is the all you need is love. This, this collection, the Hello Love collection by Heather Bailey is all based on uh, in the sort of songs from the from the Beatles and things like that. But this is you get a meter of your octopus. It's a bit special, that isn't it? It's sort of 60s psychedelic -y with an octopus meets Blue Planet. <laughs> you know, uh, and you're, so you get a meter of that one. Then you get half a meter of this lovely golden one here. Yeah. You get half a meter of the whizzy, whizzy, whizzy one. It does have a technical name, but sorry, twist and shout or whizzy, whizzy, whizzy one, if you mean, yeah. Uh, then you the birds, the birds, the birds. Half a meter of all of these, half a meter, half a meter, half a meter. And then that's for your backing. So you get more of that one for your backing. All in all, six meters. Yes, six meters in total there. Uh, a whopper for 73.49 with beautiful designer fabrics in there. Gorgeous. Now, what about this as another option? So this is the other express type quilt, uh, which we'll show you more of later. Now, you have got time before Christmas to make a quilt, but probably like a, a quick, easy one like this. Uh, so this is your all together now, Savvy Stripes. Brilliant, Stripes, do it, done, easy. Get your westerly quilts, uh, rulers out, quilted up, a treat, we'll show you that in a bit. 66.49 gets you again, Heather Bailey fabric, beautiful. Now here you're getting a half meter of these. Oh, this is, oh, look at this one. Love that. That's gotta be surely that you, you see, this is what's beautiful about this because it's the big wide stripes. You do get a nice, a nice sway of it. So you do actually get to see it. Um, there we go. You get that one. Uh, so half a meter of all of these, and then you get a meter of your spot on. And then of course, more for your backing as well. So four and a half meters in total there, 66.49. Now, maybe you just want the stripes by itself. If you want it just by itself, so that you can do this quilt just by itself, then you can get that. Maybe you've got some fabric in mind. Maybe you've already bought some fabric. Maybe you've already from us, and maybe you've already, you know, just off. Maybe you got the cave yesterday. And you go, oh, now I need a project. Here we go. Seventeen ninety nine FXEQ seventy eight, and that's not like the others. This is all done in one big sheet, and I'll show you the finished sizes of these in just one moment. There you go. Should we go and see Ange? Let's get going. Come on then. Hello, Ange. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. Now, Ange, this is the finished. This is the finished item. Yes. I told you I'd show you the finished size. Yep. Now this is. Uh, it's about forty inches square, isn't it? It is. Yeah, Look good. at the octopus in the middle. <laughs> oh, fussy, just fussy wonderful. Cut him. Yeah, fussy cut him in the middle. <laughs> with with in all his absolute glory. It's just beautiful. Um, so this is a log cabin. Now with log cabin, traditionally you'd have sort of one color tone one side, one yeah. color tone the other. You can kind of do that with this, 
But um, I, I never do. I like to mix it all up. I was going to say, yeah, it's your choice. Obviously, on the, the front of the packet, it gives you that sort of um, pattern, sort of, you know, it's showing you there. If you wanted sort of the same tone on one side, and, and they don't have to be the same colours, but, but sort, sort of tonally. they've done it tonally. as a rainbow, haven't yeah, they, all that's the way it. through? So, that's so they've just... just chosen tonally. But with these gorgeous um, designer fabrics, I just laid them out how best I thought they'd go together. So I've got sort of the aquas on the inside and then ones with some yellow in, the mustard and the yellow, because you've got those little spots on the birds on the next yes. ring, if you like. And then the, the darker blues on the outside, because I think the darker like works best on the outside. I, so, I, yeah. I just think you've done a cracking job. So I enjoyed it, actually. I really enjoyed it. And um, I'd just like to say when... When we were talking about doing um, this, a quilt as you go to do some quilting on with Westerly, and um, part of the team suggested this to me, and I looked it up on the Sewing Quarter website. It wasn't apparent to me because it's a log cabin. I just thought about it like the other quilt as you go, like you say. Oh, when you've that got it was going to be the smaller panels. So that if you've, you've got been, six yes. blocks of log cabin, um, then I was thinking, well, actually, it's quite fussy on the back already from all those log cabin seams no. um, until they explained. No, it's one huge. <laughs> well, this fine. is, yeah, so if I just, I mean, if I show you, so... It's great. The it's reason really that nice. Today's shows have been put together so that if you do... We weren't going to bring Wesley back before Christmas, no, were we? we no, no intention. But um, your feedback to us, and we do try and react to your feedback, your feedback to us was that you'd really like to see it on a quilt, how you can use it actually you on your quilt. start to apply them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we thought, well, what we'll do, we'll go one better than that. We'll go a step better. We'll actually bring you a quilt that it would be perfect to use for. Oh, yeah. So something like this, where you've got these, these larger areas here that are plain. Yeah. It's not too intimidating, but you can add your westerly in. If you're just getting going with your westerly yeah. rulers, which we've got on at 10, you can just start to put those detailing in. Now, And this I quilt isn't, you... isn't too big. It's going a step up from sort of on us you know testing it on samples but it's not too big yes uh, that one now this is the other one now this is the savvy stripes this is the other one that we've got for you today obviously in a different colorway we don't have this colorway um but you can buy it on its own if you've got your children you want to do that or we've got similar colors we've got the reds we've got sort of pinks and reds for you and blues um so we've got we've done as close as we can mm -hmm. uh but with your heather bailey uh but look on this, that is your Wesley ruler work. So we've brought these two different quilts for you because we just think they're gonna work beautifully. Lovely open areas for yeah. you to have a play with. Or yeah. if you just need a quilt done quickly yes. before Christmas, then you still have time to do it. So that, that was the process behind the shows. Yeah, if you want to have something that isn't too daunting to start with your Westerly rulers, brilliant. If you just need a quilt done before Christmas, brilliant, we've got that for you too. If you just need some fabulous fabric, we've got that covered too. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Uh, producer Anna says, there's always someone that you forget at Christmas. <laughs> now, how long did this take you? Um, this one? Um, it took me about five hours. Okay, um, so maybe you can't leave them in the kitchen for a cup of tea while you uh, just whiz up a quick quilt. Maybe that's a little excessive. But, <laughs> but, but the, you know, obviously, um, with the quilt as you go, there's some starching to do beforehand. So there's time there, um, pre-starching the fabrics. And two and a half hours sat binding uh, on top. But the actual piecing it goes, you know, about five. Cutting it, out, cutting it all out, starching it and piecing it. You Should can easily done it, do it in a day. Yeah, it's really lovely. Quilt of the day, yeah. that's what we want. It does actually say on here, complete a quilt in 12 seams. 12, 12 seams? seams. That's, a, yeah. that's a cracking and it is, claim, if you, isn't if, it? If you count you the count, lines. And you did, actually, that's Actually, I did what this morning. Counting. That's what I was counting this morning. Because I was like, is it really? Can we? Yeah, is that correct, <laughs> that claim? So like the other um, June Taylor Quilt As You Go um, kits, you've got... A lovely illustration of how it how the end what end product will look yeah. and you've got the nice um, instructions with the numbered key to it's, it is like quilting by numbers isn't it yes um, and all your fabulous instructions of um, how big to cut all your fabric pieces out the beauty of this is that I found is it's all five and a half inch strips done so you're not having to remember different widths, you know, and things. So it's all five and a half. Uh, and then there's different lengths depending on, you know, where they go in, in, in the block. So that's really nice that, um, yeah, it's, what that's I quite do, easy. Um, when, when I get this is, uh, and, uh, and I would recommend, if you're not quite sure what colours to put where, see this bit here. 
I did that. I've got my one with scribble all over it. <laughs> That's the clean one. <laughs> Photocopy it. Yeah. Enlarge it if you need to and just colour it yeah. so that you get an idea of where the colours are going to go, oh, okay. what it's going to look like. I didn't actually go that far because I was laying the fabric out on the floor to see how they would go. But um, I did actually write in there. Yeah. So that then when you come to see the key, you don't forget. Then which... you can see which ones to cut at what size. Absolutely. So, so full instructions. Really good. Full instructions. And of course, this is going to be quicker to do than the individual little squares because you then have to hand bind no, all no of those. Piecing. Yeah, no piecing yeah. together and a fewer seams. Um, what I'd just like. Just to... twelve. Just twelve. What I'd just like to point out at the beginning, we can show. This is how it comes in the packet if you've got that. Um, so you can see it's one big piece that comes out of the pack. And I'd just like to point out that when it comes, it's got probably double this on the edge. Right. Okay. So a tip that I found it easier, because your fabric, this is the width of the fabric, you see, I've got the selvage still on, edge to edge. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So what I would suggest is you end up in the instructions cutting this down anyway to, heat, to, to the line. So this is all not going to be used. You need a little bit if you decide to quilt over the edge, but just trim off some of the excess. Oh, perfect. Because it's going to... So the width of your fabric, and, it, then, and then it's nice well, and tidy this is about, start. what, an inch and a half or an yeah. inch and a quarter, something like that. So trim off some, some ex uh, excess of the wadding, and then you'll find that it will sit within the width of your fabric, perfect. or just about. And um, also then, when I was... Uh, what I tried to do, is there about a metre and a half of the backing fabric? I can't quite remember yes. the, the amount. Yes. So it's a bit longer than you need. And initially, I, I just held them both up edge to edge and then you've got to put it over your ironing board and start pressing it to fuse the backing and I found that um, my fabric had just slipped down a little bit so if you leave a little bit at the top that you can just hook over uh, okay yeah so that you can do that and then you know that you're not going to lose that and then you can take that to your ironing board and you'll start pressing from the center so press oh press from the center yeah okay, top tip right yeah so that's why mine had moved because you know what I mean? By the time you've yes. manhandled it. So if you just put a little bit over the top, you know that you've got enough in there. Yeah. Start pressing from the centre and press out. Right. Um, and then you can trim off then any excess. You can trim that off. Done. But it fused very well, actually. I was a bit nervous because, you know, uh, when we've, you know, the fusing on the little squares, I've done that before, but um, it actually fused really well. If you are, and this is what I would say with anybody that is worried about fusing, because this is a polyester, um, wadding yeah if you are in any way worried just get our repositionable spray yes. and and spray yeah. based yeah. that that would be my top tip for you i do anyway okay well you can see in areas it's not um totally you know some areas it might be you know coming away a little bit but it's fused enough, enough. to keep it yes. in position um, and you just literally don't press on the iron you've just got the weight of the iron just literally hovering if you like you can actually and you steam blast. activate yes. it yes that's what they they yes. suggest blast the press the steam button and you it's the steam going through it that actually activates the adhesive now that's make for this one yes. which is the colorado cabin now with the other one that we've got the stripes the savvy stripes which details down the bottom there that is actually an 80 yeah. 20 wadding so it's 80 percent cotton 20 percent polyester you can feel the difference um, you can that, feel right. the difference but it doesn't have that adhesive on the back okay so for that one you do have to spray okay. based so we do have a spray baster on the show for you we'll bring details for that up later uh, Lucy's going to use it later so we've got it on a show coming up but I would right. just use yes. that because oh, okay. you know that's it's... I knew it was a different wadding but I wasn't sure yeah, yeah, got yeah. The adhesive any on. of the 80 20s you have to use a spray okay. adhesive it's only the polyester ones the 100% polyester ones that come yeah. with the with or, with the, or um, attack micro attack or something yeah you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> I have to look okay. for you. Yeah. so we can it's a lot, rather a large piece of uh, fabric to be um have on air today so you'll have to bear with me keep fli flipping it around so we can start laying out so I've got my all my pieces cut out and I've starched fussy cut fussy cut him again oh he <laughs> is wonderful so uh yeah we've got him in the middle with his uh, lovely glary eyes it looks like he's got a little flower like like you'd have a cow, cow sometimes he's... have a daisy in their in their mouth don't they Psychedelic uh, <laughs> octopus. What what could possibly be better? <laughs> so um, with the with the seam allowance for this, obviously all of the cutting instructions comes in the pack. Yes. 
So you just cut to what they say. Yeah. And then these blue lines. Yes. It's a little bit different to foundation piecing. They're positional lines, not stitching lines. Yes. So you literally just put the pieces within. It couldn't be simpler, really. Yeah. Um, place the pieces inside the square, and then you stitch a quarter of an inch in, in from, from that, that line. Yeah. So if you're used to doing foundation paper piecing, you just need a little shift in thought. Yes, absolutely. About, about a quarter of an inch shift, <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to be pernickety about it. Uh, and then, so that goes on number one. Yep. Number two is here. So um, I know Know exactly where you're going that's what would be where that is there and I love how that aqua picks up the flowers yeah. instantly you can see those colors coming out did you know that Heather Bailey didn't. wanted to be a surgeon I didn't could you imagine her stitching up would be <laughs> like the neatest ever <laughs> wow yeah precision. precision this is these are all the fabrics you're getting in this bundle and your thread I mustn't forget the thread Okay, so we um, normally with quilters you go on the smaller pieces. I don't normally do that much pinning. Um, you crazy lady! Because you work, you're working on a small piece, and you can lay, you know, just put, put it in place and take it. With something this big, I did pin. You recommend some pinning. So it's the same process as before. <laughs> I'm going to be switching you around. I just Jay for some pins. There. She said, "I'm going to need some more so pins," and he more. came back with. One. One more. <laughs> One more bit, I, don't right? think he, I don't think he came back with any might, more. I need some more there, Jane. <laughs> so we'll see how we go if we run out. <laughs> <laughs> so he may or may not come back with more pins. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. He doesn't want your cup to runneth over there, does he? <laughs> I know. That and. What does your mate do with yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> so I've just put a few in place there. Along the line, and I'm just going to take yeah, not that too one. Many. Not too many. No, <laughs> we'll try and be a bit sparse today. Um, now I've got my walking foot on um, because this is pretty. You know, it's all basted in place. The backing. Um, Do I need a walking foot? Some might say that you don't really need the walking foot on. <laughs> some might say. Some I might say. It. Some <laughs> might say. However, however, <laughs> have I've, walking foot will use it for everything. I've tried it with a normal foot on and I still think it puckers. So you've got lots of wadding there, haven't you? Just give yourself a little helping hand and put your walking, if you've got foot, walking foot on. Put it, it on. on. <laughs> Absolutely. If you don't, it's then, a, li a you little know. bit um, some can be a little bit more difficult to judge the quarter of an inch. Okay. So, you know, obviously with the quarter of an inch, with your quarter of an inch foot, with a walking foot, it doesn't have that measurement. See, on. I always find this weird. If I were to design a walking foot, maybe I should. Yeah. If I were to design a walking foot, I would make it so that it was really clear where a quarter yeah. of an inch was. Uh, absolutely. Trick. But uh, yeah, they, they... Because when do you use a walking foot? When you quilt. Uh, well, yes, but the quarter of an inch is normally when you're piecing, not when you're quilting. That's the difference. They don't expect you to need a quarter of an inch. Wow. Because, you know, yeah, but you do when your quilt as you're going. <laughs> so um, I've moved my needle across. I have my, um, the machine has got a quarter of an inch setting on the needle, but obviously not meant to be with this foot. So my needle is across, but I've just had a little test. Just have a, just do a little test on a piece and try and, it. yeah, try and judge your quarter of an inch. And you can, you for can your always machine. move your needle across, can't yeah. you, to exactly where you need it to be. And just judge it for your machine, really. Now, if you've just tuned in, you might be wondering why we've got a slightly different desk setup scenario going on. That's because when we do the westerly rulers later, this is how we set up the, the, uh, the desk for that, because Anne like, has to sit down for that. Yeah. Um, but actually, it's working very well because it means that we can we can That's really cool. see how this quilt is going to kind of work a treat. Oh, I think I've gone off my line there. That will uh, we can always go back and check that. And what I'd recommend here is don't if you have a scissor cutter, don't use it. Right. Uh, bring your threads up. I know I've mentioned this before. Um, let's get my little scissors. So bring yourself a tail up and cut off the bottom. It's a bit right. of a pain getting underneath, but it's better to do that. See, I've gone a little bit off my square there, but I'm still in. Um, and we can, if you just pull up the bottom thread, remembering that that's the finished quilting on the back. On the back, yes. Yeah, so that's because you are quilting as you go. So yeah. if you pull the bottom thread through, and then that will then be trapped within the next layer. Oh, okay, so then it's safe. So you're, you, you're not having all those ends to tie in afterwards. Yes. If you pull them all through to this end, um, oh, so, funny. yeah, 
so then we can whip these out. Now, because you starch the fabric yes. with the best press spray to start off with, at this point, you don't have to, to press. Normally you would, wouldn't you, if you were quilting, you know, in between sewing a, a line, you'd then press. You don't have to, you just finger press. That's the joy of it. That's, That's it. what makes it so quick to go together, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. So we can fold that back, finger press there. That, that, it is worth the starching, like you, like you say, um, because it, it means that you don't have to keep putting the iron anywhere near this side of the, the wadding. <laughs> so I need to twist around again. Sorry, Natasha, it's a huge piece, isn't it? It feels like compared to what we normally work on. <laughs> yeah, when it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I like a little change of pace. Oh, well, that's OK, then. You don't mind doing a little bit of a dance? Well, no, I've got, I've got me a... I've got, I've got a dance <laughs> got dance, prancer on my you top. You've got your dancing top on today. Well, so no, well, fine. it's just that we had the memo, Christmas. Yes. And, uh, and of course, I can never remember any of the, the Rudolph and et al's names. Oh, okay. So I just thought I'd just get a top with them all. <laughs> and then I will always Perfect. remember their names. <laughs> well, I won't remember the name, just need to look in the mirror. <laughs> Done. So now we've got our piece for part number three. Okay. So we just put this right size together. If at this point your fabric, this, this centre piece of mine looks like it was a bit bigger than it needed to be, so that's, but that's fine. Um, if you can't see the lines that you're trying to align up to there, you can, as, as, as this goes, just use a marking pen and mark outside the edges so it will allow you to keep straight, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you could, you when you pin it on, you lot. could even draw the line with that pen on. Yeah. If you, you know, if yes, you want on to. top, on top, yeah, you can do that. So you can just position that there to keep you on track. Oh, look, 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 look at the it. extra pincushion that's arrived. Have you seen? <laughs> 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 oh, poor Jay. He's like, no one's making fun of me. I'm going to come with lots of pins now. <laughs> Yeah, that is We've got a nice, backup pincushion. Whether they're big enough, I did ask for monster quilting oh, pins. Oh, did you? Yeah. You've got stunts on Because I'm a bit pins. of a thing with my pins, you see, so when people expect me to, you know, the little fine prim pins I like for piecing. Ah, uh, um, okay. So he thought, uh, Jay thought I meant those, I think, so then he was struggling to find me huge quilting pins. Each of our guests <laughs> has their thing. I, I like to think of it as their um, intricacies. And, um, and with Jo Carter, it's that she always has to have a certain, a certain marker pen to yep. mark a fabric with. With you, it's pins. <laughs> different pins for different things. And that's why, you know, manufacturers make different pins, isn't it? It's yep. Because they do a different job. They do. Pins and uh, a good rotary cutter. Absolutely. <laughs> you still look like I'm dancing. <laughs> do you like that? Holding your skirt out. <laughs> plie. Do a little curtsy. <laughs> So just take it nice and steady over the top of your big, huge quilting pin, she says. This doesn't want to go over that one. It's not enjoying that at all, is it? Let me just so take that So when this happens up. at home and it just doesn't want to go anywhere... That's it. What do we do? Is it moving? No. I'm no, going to take that jammed, out. Isn't it? it is, yeah. Let me have a little look at what we've Some got Some investigative work. It's stitching on the spot there. But you see, this happens, sometimes this happens, it's just like, what's going on? What is going on, Edge? I'm not quite sure. Oh. I'm just going to snip it off. Oh, Lorraine's message in. I was trying to say, uh, morning. I love quilt as you go. Great for first time quilting. Thank you, Lorraine. I remember when we first bought these to it wear, we were in two minds whether or not to ever actually bring them. Because um, some, of the, some of the lovely ladies from our magazines went, is this, is this real quilting? Well, yeah, it is. Because yeah, you're, you're quilting as you go, and it makes it really achievable. Traditionalists yeah, were a bit I, I sort think, of Yeah, I think, you wearing. know, there is, but all things move with time, don't they? And they change and they evolve. And this is just a, um, a, an evolutionary form of quilting. Uh, and just to make it, it, to my mind, if it makes it accessible to more people, it's got to be a good thing. Mm. And, uh, and I, I think this is just a lovely way to get quilting. Or if you just need a quilt quite quickly, or if you need that little bit of an extra helping hand as to where to place things. And it's just however we can get that beautiful fabric out and quilted and done. And, and actually, you know, a lot of people love this because yeah. actually... I know that I'm guilty of having a lot of just patchworks done and I've never actually got around to the actual quilting of yep, them. Yeah, the piecing. Whereas this, it's done. Done. Perfect. So, yes, thank 
Thank you, Lorraine. Yes. That's why we love quilts as you go. Now, we keep talking about spray starches. We have two different um, scents for you. So the larger one is out of stock at the moment, as is the, um, the non-scented one. But we do have the lavender and the cotton, the sort of the linen, the linen one. So either of those, and actually you don't, you see, I mean, that's, that's what's been used on one of the quilts. It's, uh, you really do use a tiny amount, but you do need to use it. So that's your lavender there, and that is $4.99. We will get the others in again, but for now, if you're ordering today to do this quilt, these are the two options we have. $4.95 for your lavender best press. And then the other one that we've got is, of course, your linen. I can't smell anything today, so I can't actually... Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't tell you what any of them smell. Oh, yeah, no, I did try I'm spraying it the other day. I was disappointed because I had to request, I'd run out of Best Press. Oh, did you? And I had to request new, a new bottle, and they sent me scent free. Oh, no. <laughs> which, which one do you normally like? The linen. The linen. It's yeah. this one. This one, $4.99. Um, yeah. It smells gorgeous. There you go. We'll have to but get I got some scent for... free. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we haven't got any stuff. No, not got... everyone likes scent, do they? So. No, my mum, you see, my mum would be. I know, a... I know Lucy doesn't particularly like heavily scented things. But I quite like the, the waft. Oh, when I, I do. can actually smell things. Oh. Uh, did you say there was a message, producer Henry? It's not, it's not here. Did I just make that up? There was another message. Oh, I forgot my base. I'm not quite sure if the walking foot's behaving. That's why it wasn't oh, is um, that what it is? travelling. So we've got a few puckers in that one. So I've not used it. I don't normally use the 730 is what we normally use for the westerly. Yeah. So I'm not... Um, I wonder so if the foot's actually on right. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's the correct foot for the Tell machine. You, what, you know, I'll sometimes. I'll go and look at but, some um, fabric. But, you um, have a look at that. And, uh, and we'll, we'll reconvene. It'll be a beautiful okay. thing. It's all working. Joys of Live TV, everybody. We're going okay. Now, the quilt that Angie's made will be coming up on your screens in just one second. There it is, with the octopus in the middle. Now, this is your Heather Bailey collection. All You Need Is Love, inspired by songs by the Beatles. And um, you've got the blues and the golds in here. Now, this is already limited. So many of you have gone for this already. Um, we're already down to single figures. A lot, of, a lot of you. Are you doing this for Christmas? Or is it just one that you absolutely love the fabric of? I don't mind. Either way. Just enjoy it. Now, you are getting a whopping six metres and thread. Producer Hannah says the thread is very important. <laughs> She's very, very into this thread today. Uh, and, of course, you also get your wadding as well. So you get all of that. Uh, this one, half a metre of all of these. Then you get extra of your backing fabric there. Metre and a half of your batting. But you do get a metre of your octopus. Yay! So that's what Angie's also used for your binding and that central piece. Yeah, you will. Uh, there was quite a lot of fabric left over, wasn't there, Ange, yes. from all of this? So uh, you will, you will have oodles to play with. I was tempted to use it in one of the panels. Ah, uh, yes. One of the smaller panels, obviously not one of the bigger panels. So um, Ange was actually tempted to use some of this because you get a meter of this as opposed to just a half meter. Um, you, she was tempting whether or not to actually use that on one of the panels as well. So you've got options because we've given you so much. We like that. And thread. Jeez. And, and, and the thread. Uh, th six of these left. Gosh. Whi throwing, whizzing out. They're gorgeous and fresh, aren't they? We're, I know we're in full throat. Fabulous. Out, it's really it just, it's, it's just a lovely colour combination. Now, they are your blues and your yellows. It's that classic combination of your blue and your yellow. La, 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 la. But maybe you want to go for your stripes. Now... This is by itself available, and this is a different type of wadding. Again, it's, it's one whole big quilt. We showed you it earlier. This is one whole big thing, just done in one, one go, uh, quilted as you go, but, and this is just striped. So this is the perfect beginner's quilt. $17.99, this is 80-20 wadding on this. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Uh, so we've got that individually, or as part of a kit. Oh, a question from Diane, yes, Diane. If you wanted to buy this as bat backing, you need a metre and a half of backing if you're, if you're getting this just to... That's what we've put in here for you. We've put you a nice um, metre and a half of your backing in there. 
And so as this bundle, if you want to get the bundle with the Heather Bailey, then you have a meter and a half of your backing, a meter of your pink spot on, half a meter of your blue spot on, and then half a meter of each of your Heather Baileys. But you're gonna get that lovely sway of that beautiful design. I've, I'm gonna swap this around and put this one on top. And in fact, you need to see this one in all its glory. Yeah, well, it's just, it's the depth. I, I don't know how Heather's managed to get such depth as you walk through to that sunset with just three colors. It's very clever, very clever. 66.49 for four and a half meters of fabric here. Uh, but because, because you're getting that stripe going through, you're really gonna be able to see these beautiful designs. So if you've got fabric and you want to do your own, then buy this individually. But if you want to make the most of the Heather Bailey collection we've put together here for you, then grab the whole bundle here, 66.49. And that's everything that you're getting. Yeah, lovely. Fabulous. I think I've proved what I was trying to say about use your walking foot if you have one, because if the walking foot's not wor working properly, that's what was happening. Oh, is that what it was? It was um, being naughty. It was actually, it's got a very special walking foot on this machine that actually right. clips into the back of the machine here. Ah, and I noticed, clipped? you know, the separate feet yeah, yeah, on a walking yeah, yeah, yeah. foot that yeah. chug along, they were in the air. Oh. So they weren't doing their job. They weren't doing what they should do. What they should be doing. Yeah. That's what I noticed. And that's why it wasn't travelling. So it would be like having a normal yeah. foot on, which is why I've got a couple of puckers in there. We will forgive because you Because it wasn't um, travelling. But it had just had come and clipped at the back. So Naughty as soon as it clipped in, time. and then we're, um, we're back on track. So that's we fine. Are. But I knew there was something wrong because it's, uh, it's... It didn't feel right, did it? it well, it, and, and these feet were in the air and it wasn't travelling. Yeah, so that would... That's, that I think a walking foot does They were make... dancing feet rather than <laughs> walking feet. Yeah, that's they were what was raving. Going on. <laughs> they were raving. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it does make a big difference to put your walking foot on. So just pulling these ends up. One thing I, um, I did notice working on a quilt like this with pins in, obviously, when you're manhandling it on your table um just don't watch you don't jag yourself on pins because you're sort of oh leaning over leaning over yes. it and you're leaning into it you know just to, to stitch it because we have to turn it around press this over it's coming together now we've got another it is isn't it number four on 12 seams that's it 12 it seams and it's 12 done seams. although you added you sewed around the edge as well yeah you know um at the end of the other blocks um the instructions in in the smaller six quilt as you go blocks that we normally do you stitch around the edge to secure so them that anyway and i felt I, it, the instructions don't tell you to do that in this if you were then wanting to quilt it further with westerly or free motion obviously then your quilting would be holding down those outer yes. ones. Yes. But if you're going to just do it as a simple um, quilt as it comes in the packet, then you've got those edges of flapping around. Right. And for me, I just thought it's another 10 minutes, isn't it? Just to stitch just inside your seam allowance to hold it in place. Now, this is your twist and shout fabric that's gone Beautiful, on here. Beautiful, isn't it? That's gorgeous. It is a real, it's a, it's a fabulous very, 60s um, feel, isn't it's it? It's a very, yes. yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want to grab this, four left. Please be quick. We Aww. only have four of these left. 73.49. But if you love the 60s, it is then, uh, then this is the one to go for. The birds are very clever too. I love the bird fabric. You don't really see the birds at all. It's just a wonderful Until you get, geometric yeah, you, pattern. You get up close and then you see yeah. the birds. It's gorgeous. pinning what are we on number five just pinning him in place and so it just comes together nice and quickly mm. and of course because it's quilt as you go quilting on the back as well jill says good morning ladies love this quilt natasha can you give me a hint where your reindeer name jumper can be bought jill yes <laughs> um i went all out on expense jill um at a certain website where all things are just five pounds <laughs> dot com <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice an array of Christmas jumpers that were all everything 5,000.com. Uh, that was where this came from. <laughs> la, 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 la. Excellent. There you go. Happy to help you. <laughs> you wear well, once a year. That's a bargain, then, isn't it? Exactly. 
Freddie's got to wear his Christmas jumper for uh, for his school play tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I've got to go and watch his very first school play. Three years old, I have no idea what to expect. Aww. But he has been singing to himself in the bath lots of different Christmassy songs. So uh, we'll see. Sometimes the words are there. Sometimes it's just... And then he gets a bit he knows. Aww. <laughs> but the thing is, you don't want to correct them too much. No. So when he sings Jingle Bells, but he only sings Jingle Bells... But he doesn't sing enough Jingle Bells before he moves on to the next bit. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, you see, director Rob, his, his, his son's the same age, does exactly the same. Oh, yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. This is, your, this is your stripe one. Lots of you going for this on its own. Um, and actually, if you've got the Westerly Rulers, or if you're watching to buy your Westerly Rulers at 10, this is a perfect one. Uh, like this one, because you've got that, well, this ends up being, what, a five-inch strip of fabric. Yes. Um, and these, again, these are nice wide strips as well. So even if you are going with just a plain fabric there, and you want to use this to practice your quilting, then that's absolutely perfect. Go for that. You know, just do... Let me show you that, in fact. This Sorry, is done this. with Tilda fabrics. In fact, I'm going to show you the back. I'm not even going to show you the front. Well, I will in a minute, because, you know. But look. Can I... There. Can I show you some... Of, mm. Okay, maybe that was like, a really bad it's idea. It's difficult to get the, li to get is. the light, isn't oh, it? Oh, there you go. There you go. We look at it. that. So that's, that's oh. the backing of it. Now let me show you the front of it. Whoops, knocked over my best press. <laughs> But here it, here it is, and you can just start to see some of that rest, westerly ruler work. And that's why we've brought this for you today. This is the size of the savvy stripe, actually. This this whole quilt here. This that's is bigger the than whole, this one, isn't it? Is it sixty? It's different, different shots. It, uh, it's a sixty rectangular. By Forty, yeah. Must rather say, than I think square it's... like that one. Yeah. So, but if you just want to go with your stripes, off you go. Fab. Now, we don't have that colour bundle. We don't have the Tilda bundle because that fabric's gone. But if the, bun the bundle with it is your Heather Bailey bundle. And uh, so there we've gone with your pinks and your aquas. With the Heather Bailey bundle that we've got, we've gone with your blues and your pinks and your reds. So we've gone as close as we can, but with a different designer. We like to give you options. So the details for that are down the bottom of your screen there, 66.49, four and a half metres of fabric, so that you can do that. And that's your, um, your savvy, savvy stripes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Or if you just want the wadding by itself, 17.99. Hurrah. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, I think I keep, uh, there's two sort of heights on the, um, the walking foot's brilliant when it's fitted properly. It works brilliantly when it's on properly. Um, I've noticed there's two heights of uh, lift, and I think when you go to the higher height, it unclips itself. Um, so again, it wasn't working when I went back to it, but we got there in the end. We've got it clipped back down. I, it must be this me. This is the, um, the EXM fed. We don't normally use this I one, normally use this purely for free motion because it's got this lovely big table, so I'm not used to using it. It's got a very special walking foot on that I haven't read the destructions. <laughs> <laughs> The joy of live it. television. That's okay. Okay. It's coming together a treat. Yeah. Oh, you need to check out on this bundle, says producer Hannah. She is... It's lovely um, fabric, isn't it? Now, what did we start, decide that you were? There, there was a um, basket awareness announcement? No. <laughs> what did we decide to call it yesterday? <laughs> Be basket aware. Basket savvy. Basket aware. Basically, check out your baskets. If you want it, then, you know, we've got a couple left, so uh, go for it, is, <laughs> is the other way of saying it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. If you want it, you better better go for it quickly. So now, now we've see. got the lovely birds. Oh, the birds. In the, the birds, next the strip. Birds. Yeah. Which is a beautiful, you're right, it looks like a beautiful geometric it's beautiful, pattern. Isn't it? And then you're getting close and you see that it's actually birds and on branches. trees. Yeah. And then the sun in between. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. But that's the attention really to lovely. detail that you've got. I love a fabric that gives you those different depths. From afar, it looks one thing, then you get close up and then you get even closer and into it. Oh. Very clever. Yes. It's, it's like another, well, it's a, a skill in itself, isn't it? 
it's 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 almost like optical designing. illusions, isn't it, within yeah. a fabric? You know, some are just floral and just incredibly pretty, but these you don't Very tire clever. of them because you see different things in them. Beautiful. Yeah, Which is why gorgeous. we've only got a handful left. So because you love it too. Not just us. Everybody loves it. We'll see if we can get at least a few rounds on because um then I can come back and play with westerly rulers on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the further now, we get. these are fabrics that we won't be getting again. So if you oh, if you've seen them and you've loved them, make sure you get them. I know, I know, I know. We have, actually Heather, Heather Mailer is a, is a new designer for for us. Not you know she's very well established, but for us she's a relatively new designer for us to bring to air. This is her first collection that we've actually oh. brought to air. So it's very lovely to have to have this on the show. Yeah, I don't think I've worked um, with these fabrics before. They've been so popular, we won't have very many shows with them because they've gone. Oh, we're working. Yeah, we're, we're good. I've sussed it finally. There we go. <laughs> know your machine. That's the thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you do. I mean, this is this is it. I think that when anybody gets a new machine, there's always that fear. You have your favourite one that you've used for years and years and years. Do you know, it's really weird as well. Um, you can know a machine very well and just automatically thread it. And I, when I have ladies come to my workshops, um, it's so easy to just thread it so quickly because you think you know how to thread it with your eyes closed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you, and I did it myself, actually, in, in class. Just Monday, I think, my machine wasn't stitching properly and you automatically think, change the needle, look at the bobbin, but I, I, it must have just been the top, but just, just unthread it and thread it again. You know, that yeah. is my first. You know, because my, <laughs> my husband always laughs when I can't do stuff on the computer. It he just says, have you tried switching it off and on? Yeah. And my equivalent with my sewing machine, if ever there's re anything, is just rethread. Yeah. That's the very first thing that I do, rethread. And nine times out of ten, that's my problem solved. Absolutely. You know, something will have just slipped or done something. Yeah. And it happens to everybody, doesn't it? Yes, that's, absolutely. As soon as you stitch, that's the thing. It is. So pulling those threads up, then they're going to be encased. Yeah. And so you're not having to tie off or anything. Don't have to tie that in. So um, easy to forget. And just because you're... With this quilt as you go, you're always thinking, oh, get it un turn it over, you know, get it un um, unpinned so I can flip it over. You, you're moving so quickly, you sometimes forget to pull the ends through, but it will save you a job at the end. So take that time so, now. Yeah. It, <laughs> even producer Hannah's saying, it's coming together really quickly. It is, yes. isn't it? That's it. And then we have to turn it again to get the next, just so that I can pin from the right direction, <laughs> so I'm not... Uh, the, the next bit of actually what Hannah said is even with Natasha there. <laughs> Not we, even, even with Angela messing around with the machine. Rude. Oh, she says you don't. <laughs> no, no, Hannah, that's even worse. <laughs> she's, she's trying to make it better. She says, oh, well, you know, and you don't have that stress at home. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think she means being on the show. Not that I'm a stress. You're, no. It's fine. <laughs> producer Hannah would also like to remind everyone that she is the producer that wrote her name rather than hello this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and just that complete bit of surprise where she said, oh, that's my name, not hello. <laughs> <laughs> Too much it's chocolate. Too much chocolate. You Down to two of these and you can't tell everyone that. Oh, OK. Sorry. I say like you guys were being naughty this morning. Oh, that I have to tell everyone, don't I? Oh, she's, she's telling naughty. tales on us. Oh, but it was ba ballerina's um, advent calendar, wasn't it? Ballerina chocolate. So it's fine. <sighs> so what happened was... <laughs> our company is lovely to work for. And, uh, and they gave all of us advent calendars. Some mornings. Not all of us. <laughs> Core star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Advent calendars. Um, and so all of us in the office have got our advent calendars. Of course, staff books. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Hannah and I, it was one of those mornings, Peter, <laughs> Hannah and I might have, oh, <laughs> might have eaten ours. <laughs> I was very honest about mine and I just sort of ripped it open and ate it all. Producer Hannah has secretively gone into each one and then tried to hide the door <laughs> oh, just to pretend that she hasn't. Oh. Um, but producer Hannah says that people judge you if you eat your advent calendar too soon. Really? Apparently. Oh. Are you judging us? 
Are you? Oh no. <laughs> I just said it's... Oh dear, it's, Anne's messaged in. It's the Hannah, seventh. stop digging yourself deeper in the hole. She's in there, and she's in there. And now and now we're being shamed, publicly shamed for eating our advent calendars By early. the seventh. By the seventh. I can't, uh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I now Why can't not? tell my three-year-old off, can I, who keeps uh, bringing his step so that he can climb up and get all the chocolates out of his Aww. advent calendar. I clearly learnt it from him. That's it. <laughs> Oops. So, Ange, this is just going to keep going round and round. Yep. And actually, if you've really never simple. done um, a log cabin before, what a great way to start. One great big one. Yeah, one huge one. I, yeah, I really enjoyed making it, actually. And like you say, if you like to... Um, it's, an, it's a nice, quick project. We were saying earlier it would make a great uh, floor mat for a baby. Yes. Um, and so, the patterns. Because kids, are, you know, little babies, yeah. they, they see contrast, don't they? So this would be fabulous material. It's or actually just the size. fact that it's um, from material. Great. Jay, can you name every Beatles song? What? Well, it's from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of them. I thought that, you know, that was like, you know, you learn your ABCs and then you learn all the Beatles songs. If you... <laughs> kind of, yeah. You're saying that basically, yes. Yes. Is that a given? If yeah, no, I think or... so. I yeah, think, well, you, well, yeah, because last time that we had the Heather Bailey on, sorry, let me scratch That's you. That's okay. Uh, Jay was like, well, you, I, I, I'm here and you didn't ask me about it. So I'm like, well, make sure I ask him about it now. <laughs> See. Is that like if you're from the Midlands, you're supposed to know all of Led Zeppelin tracks or something? Are or you? Ozzy Osbourne. Or... <laughs> Are we? No. Oh, I'm not from the Midlands no, I'm originally. Sure. I'm sure I'm not. get out of that. <laughs> I'm from Brighton, so I should know all the levellers or something, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, no, I'm just saying, is it, is it the I same thing? I don't yeah. know. Well, Jay said he didn't, so uh, I think that lets us all off the hook. Oh. <laughs> Switch of fabric now. So we've got... Um, oh, yeah, we're on to the next one. One and a half rounds on. So we're now mustard, I think, isn't it? Ooh. Yes, we tried, are. Tried to put I know, it's not just any old mustard, though, is it? Because so you've got the stars in there. Yeah. I didn't actually... Um, I firstly cut the centre, and then I didn't worry too much about the others. But then afterwards, I looked at the placement of this. Do you see? It's almost... Almost! Almost in yeah. the centre. But um, I didn't... You could do that, because, like you say, you have plenty of fabric in the kit. Um, so, you, you know, yeah, you, you can fussy cut... Even the panels, if you like. Content. Um, so this one goes number eight. So we're just going to... We've only got a few minutes place. left. Okay. I'll just keep going with the process until... Um, now, until uh, don't forget, of course, nine o'clock. Um, at nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh, nine o'clock, we have our special. Um, so, well, so special. There you go. That's not actually difficult to remember, is it? Uh, our so special launch, if you will, of day seven. Mm. I gave you a massive great big hint about that earlier. <laughs> I don't know how much I was meant to. Exclusive? Collectors? Mm -hmm. Something very special for you? Producer Hannah's singing it in my ear. I mean, that's how excited she is. You can, you can gauge her excitement by uh, how much she sings. <laughs> <laughs> She's singing a lot. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does she sing well? Could have been the amount of chocolate we had for breakfast <laughs> this morning. There's that there too. Uh, but no, our, uh, our nine o'clock What's in the Box So Special is seven, day seven of the auction. And ours. Obviously, your binding as well, it um, talks about cutting two and a half inch strips. Right. Um, I found it was a bit overzealous in telling you how it says you needed 176 inches if you think this is 40 each side so That's times four is, is, is 160 and then I normally add 10 right or you know you I, I never know anyone need more than 10 um, so it said 176 so um, which was five strips but you only used four I had that much left from four Okay. So four, four strips of your, you know, double fold, folded uh, for your binding um, just goes on absolutely like normal binding, raw edge to raw edge. So uh, 
My word, did Gosh. you hear that weather? I just can hear coming. the rain. <laughs> we're, we're just sort of just like, <laughs> What's that? Gosh. It's going to be one of those funny days, isn't it? You were saying that we're going to have snow. Well, this is this rain then. The, the, it's been very mild here this morning, but the, the wind's going to change direction and uh, coming from the Baltic and all that rain's turning did. to... <laughs> turning. All that rain's turning to snow, I think, by the end of the... Uh, by the early hours. So, yeah, we're going to have... I'm going to leave you okay. with the rain and, and that. Hammering down. We'll be back with Westerly to yes. have a play with this. Absolutely. That's excellent. Yeah. I'm going to take this. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. The bundle that Ange has been making with. We have two of these left, so if you would like them, please check out your baskets. Um, we don't have the Colorado quilt here by itself. It's only part of this quilt. Kit. But as we've seen, what a stunning quilt. It's not exactly a hardship, is it? Lucy Brennan's looking at the ceiling going, oh my word, what's going on? So quilt as you go, that's what you get. This is the fabric, a whopping six meters. You do get a lot of fabric left over, by the way, uh, but only two left, so please check out your baskets for that, 73.49. And as producer Hannah keeps telling me, you get the thread as well. Very excited about that. Savvy Stripes by itself has been incredibly popular. It's $17.99 on its own. We've seen the size of it. It's lovely and a very nice starting point. So if you've got fabric of, uh, you know, that you've had from us, from, you know, then you can do, you can do your favorites or we've got a cracking bundle for you with four and a half meters all ready to go. Should we take a look? Uh, so at Heather Bailey, how many seconds? Oh gosh. So if you would like to grab this as well, then you've got all of your Heather Bailey fabrics in here, in your pinks and your reds. Oh, there we go, 66.49. There it is, fabulous. Now, uh, the quilting fun does not stop there because Lucy Brennan and our So Special is coming up at nine o'clock. Don't go anywhere. Well, you can grab a quick cup of tea, but then join us because you will not want to miss nine o'clock. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Hi, I'm Lucy Brennan and these are my three top tips. My first top tip is to experiment. It's really about um, playing and using all the different features of your sewing machine. So for example, when I was quilting this quilt, I used um, a wavy quilting stitch, which gives a really lovely texture to the quilt. So it's worth having a play about and using um, scraps or little quilt sandwiches um, to try different things. My second top tip is about combining fabric. A lot of people um, like getting the pre-cuts, which are fantastic. That gives you a whole range of a collection, but it doesn't mean that you just have to use those together. It can be nice to mix them in with other fabrics that you've got in your stash or mix them in with solids and create something really unique. My third top tip is sometimes you just need to go for it. You can't always plan everything out. So you might combine fabrics, be making a block, and it not look exactly how you wanted it to. But until you sew it together, you don't always know how it looks. And there's always a way of combining things and making it look right in the end. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy-to-follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. On Friday the 8th of December, we're joined by Susie Argent from Ashmead Designs with two brilliant new shows. Susie's EPP kits were so popular last time that we're delighted to have her back with more fabulous kits. The Ashmead Design kits use a unique EPP hexiform material, which is washable and easier to use than paper. 
If you're looking for last minute Christmas gifts, then Susie has a great range of quick to make products and accessories for your home. As well as bags and purses, you'll love their unusual Christmas decorations. So join us at 9am and 11am this Friday, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Seven. We've had some crackers, haven't we? Some absolute so special crackers. Every day they're sold out. Today's very, very special. Now we all went online this morning trying to see if you could get this anywhere else. Uh, even in America, on her own website, this is a big old hint, isn't it? Um, is very limited. Some of them are sold out on her very own website and you'd have to ship it from America and it was costing more. Hmm, what could it be? Hmm. Collector's Limited Edition. Are you liking the sound of it already? Collector's Limited Edition with an added sewing quarter twist. Hmm. Do you want to see? I don't think I've ever waited so long to open it. Okay, right. Which one to go for? Which one, which one, which one, which one? Oh, we've got... Ta-da! Anna Maria Horner Collector's Box Edition of Aura Phil... Th it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Aura Phil Threads with two Anna Maria Horner fat quarters in there and a pattern. Yes, yes, yes. And... I've got three choices for you. Does it get any better than this? They are beautiful. How many of you are going for all three? Come on, be honest. Be honest about it. How many of you want all, well, how many of you want all three? Come on, I know I do. I know that Lucy is, well, being held back, quite frankly. She's being restrained. Now, uh, these are both 50 weight. And this is a 12 weight. So this is a more decorative hand stitch weight. Um, and let, in fact, let me open that one up and show you. Here we go. So this is the only one that's different weight wise. Now in it, it starts off here. It's like an out of box experience. And uh, you're gonna get a little um, thing on how to make a pin and needle cushion in there. These are your fat quarters. So these are exclusive to Sewing Quarter. And of course, you know, these are going to be, these are included in this box. <gasps> Elsewhere, you can get the collected limited, a collector's limited edition box. Very difficult to get a hold of it, but you can. <sighs> but you will only, in the US, so you're going to have to ship it over here, but you will only get the fat quarters in it from us, from us. Now, if you want this one, and these are your 12 weight. Now, what you need to see as well in this one, because this is the only pack that has these in as well, these are variegated threads. So in this kit, you've got variegated, look at those, really beautiful. Now, if you haven't worked with Orifil before, these are 100% Egyptian cotton threads made in Italy. They go through a 15-stage process before they're put onto the spool uh, so that there is very, very little lint. That's what they really, really pride themselves in. They are certified as having no harmful chemicals in them. They're made from really long-fibred cotton, and that, will, that gives you your quality of your cotton in there, which helps, you know, keep that down. Now 12 weight can be used in your machine, but as Lucy will tell you later, use it only on the top bobbin, use a, a thicker bobbin on the bottom. Um, now the colours, here we go, these are your colours. You've got the two variegated in there, they are absolutely well, this is what Orophil is, is renowned for as well, is that beautiful sheen. These are mercerized threads, which means that they, they have um, this beautiful sheen and the mercerization strengthens these threads too. Now, this is just one of the collectors. <gasps> have I, oh, no, I've got to fold these up. 
okay, bear, bear with me, just one moment, you know that, you know. So this is Anna Maria Horner fabric in an Anna Maria Horner collector's box with Aurifil threads. Now just remember how fast her fat quarters went in the first place. Uh, we are absolutely thrilled to be able to bring you this. Uh, what a beautiful gift if you're giving this to someone. Absolutely stunning and it's limited edition and it's coming in the gorgeous box as well. So just make sure that you just do not miss out on this today. So that's the first one. Number one, maybe you have this fabric. Maybe you have the social climber fabric. In which case, the thread to go with it. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now, these are 50 weights. So these are using your machine, 50 weights. Again, you get the pattern there. She talks you through how to make a little uh, cushion pillow. Cushion pillow? Pin cushion. You know what I mean. Fat quarters again. Couple of fat quarters in there. Again, you won't get this in any other collector's edition. Nowhere else has done this. Just us. Just for us. We know we know Anna. She did it for us. Yeah, she's part of the part of the team now. That's it. And look at this is producer Hannah's favourite colourway. This is what she wants because it's got all of those ochres and yellows and oh, but then you've got the warm tones in there as well. This is stunning. So if you are after this one, and again, ten. 10 of your Aurifil threads in here. Once you start using Aurifil, you, you won't go back. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's any, ever any going back from Aurifil, is there? That's it. No. So this is your 50 weight. Beautiful. Can be used uh, by hand, in your machine. Uh, however you want to use these ones, go for it. We will talk, Lucy will tell us about why she loves Aurifil. She's been using them. How many years did you say? About five or six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they were it was developed by um, actually an industrial uh, company, and, and you know they wanted really great quality threads. Now, all 100% cotton. Their cotton is actually grown uh, right by the Nile. I mean, you don't get more Egyptian than that, do you? Unless you know they're plucked out of a pyramid, but they haven't. It's um, it's by the Nile, and that's where you get those those lovely long. Threads. Have we got the right lids on these? Is this the right way around? Yeah, fab. Good, good, good. Here we go. Dee, 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 dee. Here we go. So in this one, you've got your blues and your purples and your greens. There we go. Oh, just, you see, I have to put them in sort of colory order. Yeah, I think we've got the wrong lids on these. We, we were having a good old rummage. So the, the, if you, hang on, it's easily done. It's easily sorted. There you go. We just put the wrong lid on that sort of produce Hannah when we were playing with them. There we go. So if you want, look, 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 look. Here we go. That makes more sense, doesn't it? You've got those colors. Apologies for that. There you go. So if you want, let's get this round the right way. Woo! <laughs> it's going swimmingly, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's get the right graphics for this. If you want the blues and the greens that go with the blues and the greens on the front of the packet, there we go. Then these are the details for this, $39.99. Please make sure this is our error. Sorry, we had them all open this morning and put the wrong lid on the wrong one. Sauce. $39.99. If you want this one with the blues and the greens and that lid, blues and the greens and that lid, then this is the code for it. B-O-R-W-38. There you go. That's that one. Should we give, should we have, show the other one? There we go. So that's that one. There, look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is the trouble you see. We were all pouring over these this morning because we were loving them all. And then let's just show you, just for clarity's sake, show you the other ones if you want. And again, you're getting your, your two fat quarters in either ones. Yeah, look, you see those tones go with that lid. Beautiful. You see, there's method in the madness. Beautiful. $39.99 for your warm reception Aurifil threads. So basically, uh, with Aurifil, the designers go, they pick the, the colors that they absolutely love, and that's what you've got there. Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. 
There we go. So three different options there. These two, the two with the social climber designs on the front there, these are both your 50 weight. This is your 12 weight, so that's your hand, more of your hand thread over here with a very distinctive lid. I love that one. And this one's got your two variegated threads. And then these two over here are your 50 weights. So check out the website, decide which ones you want. It's entirely up to you. Beautiful. Let's take them over to Lucy. We might never get them back, however, if we take them over to Lucy. You do realise that, don't you? <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. How are you? Very well. How are you? <laughs> Protective. <laughs> now, you, uh, you make no bones about the fact that you no. love a bit of orophil. I absolutely you know love it. Top. It does. So pretty. Why? Um, many reasons. Um, one is the, well, the quality is incredible for a start. The colours are so beautiful. The sheen is, is gorgeous. And one of the things I really love about it is how um, long lasting it is. So what they look like small spools, but there's a yeah. lot of thread on each of those spools. And when you wind a bobbin, it lasts for a really long time because you can get a lot more thread on the bobbin than if you were using, you know, a slightly uh, thicker thread. Should we open this one up? So this is the one on your screen is the one that Lucy's holding here. With a couple of fat quarters. Oh, hello. So they all have the same fat quarters in them. The pattern. Oh, the, oh, the pattern. Sorry, the pattern for the pincushion is the same in all three. So you're not getting different patterns. You're getting exactly the same. Um, but look, what you're getting is different threads in each and your fat quarters. Beautiful. Those colours are just okay. gorgeous. 50 weight. When you get an orange top on your Aurifil yes. thread. The orange spools. The orange spools. That's a 50 weight. Tell me about 50 weight, Lucy. So 50 weight thread is um, sort of a, a catch-all, really. Um, you can use it for piecing. It's fabulous for piecing. Because it's so fine, it helps you maintain the accuracy of your um, seams. And you can use it for quilting as well. It's really good for free motion quilting. Oh. Yeah, but and and straight line quilting. Any kind of quilting. Just anything. Just <laughs> yeah, anything. anything. Just get anything. it and enjoy it. Yeah. Now, uh, both of your 50 weight options are on the screen. These are your warm ones and your cooler ones are down the bottom. That's your cooler ones there. Down the bottom of your screen there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, now, <laughs> it's just lovely. It is lovely. What a great gift. And I love that print as well. It's a gorgeous gift. Isn't it? A yeah. and, and to have the thread presented. and the fabric as well. Yes. I think that's really, really nice. And the idea. box to keep it all in. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'd put my jewellery in it, I think. Would you? Yeah, I That's would. special. I'd have it on display. Yeah. Because my sewing desk is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> They would get lost. <laughs> yeah. they, those two there are your 50 weights. So warm and cool options. Mm -hmm. Now, I have that one. <gasps> you have I this do. one. I, don't, I didn't have the collector's box. I'll say that. I didn't have the collector's box, but I have these threads and I used them recently. Um, and I went for this one because the 12, as I love the 50 weight. I have a, quite a lot of the 50 weight. And the, and the 12 weight is just a bit different. So it gives a really different um, look to your, to your projects as well. Now the 12 weight is the only one with your um, variegated threads in, in a pink and a blue, well, sort of aqua color. Mm. Now hand stitching with these. Yeah, you can hand quilt with these, um, add embellishments to things and um, you know even some embroidery stitches you'd be able to do with that. And you can use it in your machine but you want to use this as your top thread and use the 50 weight in your bobbin. Beautiful. So you don't want to put this thread in your bobbin, it's far too thick. Um, but what this does is if you're using a machine, it allows you to um, have that sort of thicker hand stitched look right. without hand stitching. Ah. So it's a great sort of cheat if you like that look, but don't want to do the, the, the hand sewing. Um, it's really, really lovely. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't quilt all over with it, but I would use it decoratively. Nice. So um, to add, add bits of, of quilting. Well, I think or on a bags lot of you something. are thinking exactly the same because 
this one, the 12 weight over half of the stock has already been checked out. Yeah. That's not even you sitting with it in your baskets. That's it actually checked out. Not going to miss out on this. No way, no way, no way. Now, as your so special auctions go, you are getting a massive saving. Not only is the first time to air for these, but you are also getting a saving. Nowhere else will you get the two fat quarters in there. Nice. And but they're, they're hard to, they are hard to get hold of. And with shipping through America, you know, it would be more. This is really, really good well, value. Well, without the fat quarters, this yeah. box on other sites is yeah. more. Yeah. So today, $39.99. This is today's price. It will only be for today. At midnight, you won't be able to get them from us anymore. No. And got, I had oh. hunted for them. I'm going to be really honest. I had hunted for them online and couldn't justify paying that you know, shipping it over. With the you, shipping you and everything charges else. Charges yeah. and da, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. So this is incredible. And so don't buy them all because I want them. <laughs> 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 Gotta be quick. Uh, so this is your 12 weight and you're getting, you're getting all those beautiful threads in there as well. Now, if you would like the warm 50 weight, so your 50 weight is your sort of your all-purpose weight. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then that's 39.99. 10 Aurifil threads. Now, again, over half of the stock of these, gone. We are limited now on these uh, because they are collector's items. Lovely. So they are your warm colours. And then if you want your cool colours, here they are. So these are your cool colours in here. I just love the boxes. Yeah. And I think it's, it, you know, a, a lot of people, t I mean, you can use all the colours, of course, but people do tend to... Uh, use more of either warm or cool. So, I'm cool. Are you cool? Oh, well, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not personally cool. I'm warm. I'm always warm. <laughs> <laughs> the cool collection. Okay, fewer than 20 of these now available. But I was going to say the colours for that one are, are fabulous. If you do, you know, if you like sort of more earthy colours and you do more natural things, you know, the greens are stunning and it has a really good range of, of blues from from the light to the dark. Well, you see, this is for me. Um, you've got you've got really useful ones because you've got the you've got these really dark ones in here, um, and then you've got like that's a sort of a bluey, steely, almost petrol mm. grey going on in there. But you see, I use these aquas all the time. That's why I meant mm. I was cool shades yeah. rather than I'm definitely not cool. You are cool. Uh, and then that colour is just. Yeah, beautiful stunning. and they do work of course incredibly well with the fabric of they all tone in so if you did get any of the kits or you know any of the fabric previously or obviously it goes with the ones that are in the box but it is they it's just beautiful uh fewer than 10 yeah, i'm not surprised it's it, less it really than 10 of the cools volume. if you're a cool kid 39.99 it's yours but you gotta be quick get off lucy <laughs> I want to pet them. Yeah, no, I know you do. <laughs> I was this morning. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll admit it. Yeah. Um, I will just mention as well, I didn't say, when you, if you're going to use the 12 weight in your machine, yes. you want to make sure you're using a bigger needle. So you want to go for... How does that work when it's a finer... Th no, the 12 weight is oh, the, the thicker 12 thread. Oh, the 12 weight, yes. Yeah, oh, sorry. sorry, for the 12 weight for the thicker thread, you want to be using um, a 90-14... Um, needle, needle in your machine. Right, yeah. right, right. And then you'll have no problem. 12 weight one is that one there. And the code is on the screen. Yeah. Nicely balanced. Yeah, I hope you weren't going to mention that in case it fell over. <laughs> oh, yeah, just jinxed it. Quick. <laughs> Protect them. <gasps> okay, let's so. Let's make stuff. <laughs> Yay. Now, Lucy. Yes. Ba -da -da -da. How beautiful. Yes. I love this. I love the bright colours in this one. Sometimes. Planes are just the way forward, aren't they? Yeah. I think this um, gives a nice drama to a project, oh, yes. you know, and um, it really, the, using the darker background particularly helps those, those bright colours pop. Now, um, how did you make this? I made it using the diamond wedding ring templates from Creative And Prince. as if by magic, we have them here. 
and I have used it before. So I have de I've, uh, demo I demoed a block from, yes. from this, and that was when it was brand new in. Yes. So I have had a bit more of a play and made up the quilt behind me. Fabulous. So this is your diamond wedding ring template. And in fact, last time, do you remember, we had that photo sent in Oh, yeah. Oh, from, from a viewer that had hand-pieced all of yeah. hers. Just amazing. So twenty nine ninety nine gets your Creative Grids non-slip diamond wedding ring template. Look at all of those templates. Far easier than having to make your own templates. Yeah. Um, just stunning. This is how these things go together. So when you get this, mm. and this is always our advice, whenever you get any kind of Creative Grids anything, don't throw this away. Because what this is, is not just a piece of, of packaging. Nah, ah, 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 ah. This is step by step how to use the rulers. It's, it's just brilliant. Do not throw this away. No, and it, they usually include some sort of a pattern or ideas for blocks or, yes. you know, whatever. Like that's on the back. Um, yes, exactly. So um, that's obviously the one, what I made. And you very easily could make this larger. You could repeat this and join them together. Oh, nice. And, and it's not complicated because although it's a hexagon, it's made up in rows of triangles. So actually, when you break it down, all you're sewing together is the triangles. And the way um, that the rulers are created, it's very simple to do that. So if you wanted to make it bigger, you wouldn't complete it and then keep adding them you would just work out how many rows you wanted in the position, you know, the layout and just and just That's repeating it. very clever. Yeah, very, very clever. Or an alternative would be to just use uh, more background triangles. So th these sections here, yeah. you know, you could add rows around so it becomes centred within more of the background. Oh, wow. So that would be an easy option. Fun to do? Well. Yeah, really fun to do. Um, not the... The cutting out is a little time consuming because there are a few pieces. Oh, I like cutting but it's, out. But, and it's good. far quicker because you've got the templates. So you've got all that accuracy is inbuilt. They're very, very easy to use. Um, and the way that they're, they're made means that the piecing is, is straightforward. When you're going for something like this, something as dramatic mm. as this, if your cutting's a bit wibbly wobbly, mm. you're going to notice aren't you? There's yeah. no two ways about it. You're going to yeah. notice. So accuracy on something like this, absolutely key, isn't yeah. it? And that's why getting a ruler dedicated to that job, so important. And the, th this kind of a pattern as well is more complex in its sort of construction. Um, and to have everything aligned perfectly, because if, if you're very, I mean, there are areas where it's not completely perfect but it's not far off. What? And you can't, I know, but that's me, nit, you know, it's me nitpicking really. Well, yeah, I can't Because see. you can't see. No. And what it allows is for you to have that real accuracy to get these points. Yes. Perfect without too much, you know, hassle really to be able to do it. And it's something that you can spend an awfully long time over or you can do it quite quickly using the templates. Show us how. Okay. So um, I went with these sort of rainbow colours and I reused the red because I wanted the yellow to, to be that central um, point. So the first thing you want to decide is what are, what's going to be your, um, you know, where you're placing the fabrics, what's going to be make up those uh, diamond shapes, which right. colour is going to be in the centre and the outer part. And you can play around with it. You could do it completely you know, random if you wanted to. You could even make up two halves in two different colours as well. Um, and then you're just following the instructions and um, step by step cutting out. So I'm start, starting with the background, which is the deep navy. And it you get, how many is that? Six <laughs> templates, quick count. Um, Six templates, so you have your arc pieces, that's going to be red, I'm just going okay. to put them there, and your um, diamond. diamond, which is the yellow. And then you have these three pieces, which become the background. And this is all in the instructions. Yes. So if you can see here, it shows you. These are your background ones, 
straight off, that's what we're going to end up cutting. And it makes it even simpler because all the sections that you're cutting out, you're cutting out from strips. So it gives you the measurements of the strips that you need to cut. You're just straight line, cutting the strips, and then you're subcutting nice. the strips. Um, so it really breaks it down and makes it incredibly um, accessible, I think, for, yeah. for anyone to do. Yeah. And um, even more than that, so with this one, obviously they're quite fussy sort of shapes yes. to, to, to cut out. So rather than cutting from a strip and having to move everything around, it tells you to just cut that section where you've, um, I've got the selvage there, but to cut that section off so that you're working with a smaller piece to cut okay, these shapes so out. So already we're getting hints and tips to make life easier for something that could otherwise just run away from us. Yeah, and also that this way you're um, wasting far less fabric. If you were just to take all these shapes, you know, and just randomly have them It'd be a right old your, hodgepodge. It would it? just be a hodgepodge. So this way, it's far more organised. You know where you, where oh, you are, and yeah, it's lovely. So then you're just doing them step by step, okay. each one. So you know that those three are going to fit on there. You've got the grip all the way round the um, template. So you just press it down, and then you can just go ahead and cut round. And I'm using the rotating mat because it does make it much easier when you're. Um, you know, having to get to each yeah. side of yeah, the yeah, shape, yeah. obviously. Well, yeah, you can see you just spin and go. Yes. Now, 45 mil ruler okay for this? Yeah, absolutely fine. They're not, the um, curves aren't so sharp that you need the smaller one. You can, okay. you can um, do this just with the 45, which is nice. If you would like the cutting mats, we will get you those details in just one moment. Oh, it's in stock. Well, you know, yes. Wow. <laughs> Get it quick before it sells out again. We've been again. waiting a while, haven't we, for yeah. this to come back in stock? But yeah, we'll get the details for that. I might be assigned to another hour, but we will get you those details. Don't you worry. Yeah, it is. It really is a great, um, you know, handy thing to have because it just makes it that much easier. And and you're not, of course, you're maintaining the accuracy as well because you're not lifting and moving the fabric each time that you nice. that you need to so cut it's shape. less movement more accuracy yeah. um less fray as well so you can use you can use more variety of fabric in a way can't yeah. you you know yeah we've got um later on we've got um the 100 scrap quilt book coming up yes and and that is all about using different fabrics and different scraps you know mm -hmm. the, the definition of a scrap quilt is that you do use those different those different bits and bobs, which would mean that actually you can use more delicate fabrics or ones that maybe you know aren't quite as expensive because you you've, you're not handling it as much. Yeah. So it's really important that you cut all the edges. Right. So even when it's just got that little you know that little dog ear that I've just clipped off there. That's even vital with it's it. It's vital that you cut that off because that helps when you come to um, piece. None of it's an accident, is it? It's all done yeah. to help the final process be as yeah. beautiful and accurate as this. It's very clever. So that, those are the background pieces I'm cutting for now. And Cutting just... mat is in for you. There we Yay. go, 32 .99. Hurrah, there it is. That's made your day, hasn't it, Lucy? It has. Yes, because so often I use it and I feel really bad people can't get hold of it. So that's fantastic. Back in stock. If you've been waiting, check out your basket now for it. And then um, I'm going on to do the um, other, other curve. So I'm just going to check. Yeah. There is a way of doing it. So you're just putting the two on like that. I'm doing two at once because... Um, well, I mean, even if you're using prints, you can do two at once. It's just going to be that it becomes the reverse of it, yeah. if you see what I mean. Yeah. So um, you just want to be mindful um, of that. But we can do the same thing again. Just trim that off. Right. And then we can cut these out. So making each step manageable. Yeah. Uh, now, creative grids, the way that they work is that obviously within themselves, uh, the, it's a family run business and um, the couple that started up the company, their daughter, Rachel Cross, designs a lot of the rulers. Now in this case, uh, Judy Nine, Nine uh, I can't say her name, uh, I can't I, every either. time I, stum I stumble on this one, Nymea, 
is what I'm going to go with, yeah. um, has designed this. Now, she um, has, has got some beautiful examples of what you can use this uh, ruler for. And she's helped develop this ruler. And look at that. What a stunner. Amazing. So that's, you know, I was saying about repeating it. Yeah, that's one way to do it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's one way to do it. Really dramatic. And then that, all that beautiful applique around it. Just stunning. So that, and that's one of Judy's, so we must credit her for that. It was one of Judy's designs from, you know, the ruler that she's, she's helped make with, with Creative Grids, which is, the, which is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Because they use all of these amazing professionals to help design yeah. certain rulers. So you're getting, you're getting a great quality ruler with that non-slip grip, and you're also getting top designers that really know their stuff, helping you make... Fabulous, fabulous quilts. And you've got inspiration and, and it has that QR code so you can watch um, their videos as well and she'll show different things that she's created using, um, you know, using the ruler. So there is lots of inspiration out there if you're um, not sure. Now, producer um, Hannah has asked a very good question. We haven't actually mentioned it yet, but each of these rulers do have, which is unusual for Creative Grids. Can you see, if I just hold that with the light there, can you see those little holes in there? And that is going, we're going to use those little marks, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. So producer Hannah keeps saying, why, why, have, they got, why have they got those? Why have they got those? Just you wait. Yeah. Just you wait. So if you've been wondering as well, just... Oh, Linda's asked a general question. Hi, can you tell me how you dispose of used blades? Oh, good question. Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, don't put them in the bin. Right. Um, you, I keep them, the ones that I buy come in like a plastic case. Yes. So I keep that plastic case. So you need to have um, a, a place to store them safely away, you know, and, and I, it, I have it marked on them and, and um, everything. And so it's kept safe in that plastic container. Then when I'm ready to dispose of them, I tend to take them to my um, GP um, because they Do have... You? Yes, when I go to the GP, because you need to take them somewhere. I'm not advising not that you all take them to your GP. Not the answer I was expecting at no, all. No, but you need, they need to be put in with sharps. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, and the same with needles and the same with pins, same with sewing machine needles. You should keep them in a separate container and then at refuge disposal places, the, the tip, tip. Is what yeah. I'm the yeah. tip, um, they have a sharps area for you to, I don't know what they call them nowadays. They have a the sharps. The GPs apparently. Yeah, they have a, oh, I take mine to the GPs because they have a sharps thing. I just say, I've just got some, you know, old needles. Can I stick them in your, can I stick them in your thing? And they're okay. I'm, but I'm not advising that to everybody. I don't want everybody to bombard their GPs. Um, so if you're going to the tip or you've got the a tip The latest strain you, on the NHS, I know, yeah, thanks to it. Lucy Brennan. Um, <laughs> So, and ask, when you go to the tip, ask where, don't throw them in the general. Do you no, know what I mean? Because it's really unsafe. But are. you absolutely do not put them in your bin. It's not, it's not safe for the environment, animals, or the people that work with the rubbish. So take them to your local tip and ask where to safely dispose Linda, of them. Linda, that is probably one of the best questions I think we've ever had. Yeah, but Brilliant. it's a very important, yeah. it is a very yeah, yeah. important one. Hadn't, even, hadn't, hadn't because I, 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 I haven't taken mine anywhere. They're, they're all in, like yeah. you say, all the, the little plastic mm -hmm. things, but they're getting higher and higher. Yeah. I think what I might do is just get a little sort of Tupperware-y type mm -hmm. box and put all of my sharps yeah. in and there. And any dull pins and needles and things like that, you should put them in there as well. And I even go one step further because I like to pretend I'm organised. <laughs> go on, no, 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 you can And I us. take a permanent pen and I write old on it. Oh, you know, I have that on the plastic container. Uh, yeah, so that you know, you know, because I don't want to open the con container and end up putting a dull blade back in no, my... ...and mixing it up. So, yeah, have a system. But keep them safe, keep them, you know, away from children and pets and people in children general. Children and pets, people. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> be safe, um, be safe. Linda, did that answer your question? I think very thoroughly. <laughs> you probably see my Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my pieces that I need. <laughs> All the GPs will be writing in. Why would you say that? <laughs> um, but my point is safely. Yes. That's my point. Yeah, we know, we know. So, <laughs> I'm all over there. Like, I need to look now because I'm all over the place. So let's lay this out. So, um, 
once you've got your pieces, you can start to um, build up your block. So because I'm working with the solids, it doesn't matter. You know, I can reverse them. It doesn't really matter. But you probably want to keep track of it if you're, well, you need to keep track of it if you're using prints because that's um, going to make a difference. But the block is um, separated into different sections. So it will become clear as I'm laying it out. So you can start to see how we're building it up. It just looks like eyebrows. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. I know it sort of does, doesn't it? They are funny. Like crazy eyebrows. They're funny shaped um, pieces. Amy's emailed in. that right. Oh, she says she... She says she, the rain's just started that we've had. Oh. It's just... <laughs> That was re I was really a bit scared. I was like, looking at the roof, will we survive? <laughs> oh, thank you, Amy. Uh, Bridget Anna says she's not quite sure where she is, but she's somewhere else. Um, but no, she's got, she's got a lot of rain too. Yeah. Pouring down rain, which it means it's a great day to stay in and quilt, quite frankly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, any excuse. Yeah. We'll uh, take oh, that one. I, I need none, but yes. <laughs> yeah, stay cosy and warm inside. That's the best thing to do. So you, you then split this up, okay? So it's in two halves. So you're sewing these sections and this section. So you're, you're sewing the comedy eyebrows on first. So you're sewing the comedy eyebrows on. Now, in the initial demonstration, and what I would suggest yes. is on all of the templates, you have little holes for- oh, Producer Hannah. For Not, marking. Yeah. I know, I know it did sound like I called you a little hole, but what I meant, Producer Hannah, is she was asking about the little holes. So, yeah, just to get her attention so she can, you know... She says, I'm producing your show, Natasha. It's my job to pay attention. There you go. <laughs> well, I didn't want her to miss out. She'd asked the question. Yeah. So what you want to do is use, use them, because they're there for a reason, and you mark on them... So that as you come to sew this curve, you won't be able to see that mark at home, but I can see it. As you come to sew this curve, you know where to stop. Ah, okay. Brilliant. Now, having... So you yeah. would use a pen that showed up at home. Yeah, use a pen so that you can shows see up it. so that you can see Oh, this will work. Here we yeah. go. I just mark them all because that's easy. But that's going to be where the... Um, is it that one or that one? That no, one. That one, that one is where the curve's going to end. So that then you there can see as you're sewing them together, yeah. you can you can match it up. There so there. dink, 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 and up there, dink. Even more than that, as you're pinning, let's get it the right way around. I've just, just so I've just marked the wrong holes, haven't I? There we oh. go. Put it on there. This is why I try to mark them all so that it, <laughs> you've got them oh. there then. This wasn't. You know, we did one the other day where you used a glue pen to do the curve. Could you do that with this? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. That was a brilliant tip because I always look at this and, and go, oh, hang on, that's, you, it's kind of the wrong curve against the wrong curve. Yes, it is wrong. It's but not, actually, but it yeah, so the glue line wrong. pen is coming up later, but actually you, you used, you, you did this on, on a similar yes. curve situation. Yes. And it was and you brilliant. Can. I was really taken with it. That's why so you've got, it just makes it so much easier. Yeah. So easy. So you've got your straight lines there. So that makes it really easy. And then you can mark this, but you're not going to, um, you're not going to stop at that point. You, see, you can go yes. right over to the end. But when it gets down to here, I mean, you don't have to stop. You can keep going, but it's just nice to know that you've got that alignment. That is the place where when you come to sew the blocks together, you're, you're going to start seeing your curve from the other side. Oh, so that's okay. why that mark is there. So yeah. nothing is ever by accident on your creative grid. So if you've got those dots, use them, use those markers and use them because then yeah. that helps you get that greater accuracy. Now, having said that, once you've done a few, you get a feel for it. OK, you, so d I know you just you you re rebel. I am a rebel. Maverick. So you will start to find but also it's the templates because they are so accurate and the, they've been designed to work together perfectly. So if I can just show you on here, see that section there yes. is where this piece that I'm going to sew on is. So that's just 
this little um, template there. So that entire ruler is just with to me? get that little bit there. Yeah, it's just that little bit there. So but within this seam allowance, that's where that extra part is. Ah. So the, the reason that it's important to, to match that section up is because this is where you start to see it oh, and you start to get that see. curve. Okay, so Ever. as you're building it up, you realise that, but then you almost don't need to mark because you know you can trust the templates. Okay. So I would advise marking. Yes. Initially, make a few and see how you get on. If you still want to mark, of course, you can mark I them. would because I yeah. don't have your experience. But you'd have experience after you've made a few. Because you've got quite a lot to do. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of lot of blocks and pieces. Yeah, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and sew that. Oh, now my rotating cutting mat. Until we reorder, we're down to only six. So please check out your baskets. If you've, yeah, we've only just got them back in. Lots of you have obviously been waiting for them uh, because we're now down to just six. So if you wanted this, and this is a great gift for any quarter for Christmas. They will thank you for it. Oh, well, yeah. they should anyway, because you know it's rude not to. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> but they, yeah, they will. They will thank you for it. Uh, so, following the instructions, just sewing with a quarter of an inch. You can pin all of this. I, I don't, but you can. Look at you, mavericking all over the place. <laughs> Care to you, Brennan? <laughs> just go for it. Just go for it. Uh, because I find it easier. You know, it's and whatever I, works. Yeah, it's whatever works. But you can um, definitely the glue method is a good one to try. Um, you can slow your machine down. You know, if if you're nervous of curves, I tend to find because I slow sew at quite a quick rate. I sew curves neater if I do it qu quite quickly. Um, but it's worth having it having a play around. Start off slow. Yeah. You know, till you build your confidence, and then and then. Um, you can speed up a little bit. Okay. Do you need me to press them? I'm getting the. I'm yeah. getting this out. Yeah. I've also realised that it helps to charge the um, tablet if you actually turn it on. Yes, that is helpful. <sighs> and I will say as well, it tells you which. This is so useful because quilters will understand this. It tells you um, which way to press. Oh, good. You better so tell all me all your then, seams. It ready. tells you which way to press. I'm going to check. Um, I think it's that way. I'll just do it that way. I can't see. <laughs> it, it tells you. Press however. towards. Oh no, that's the wrong way. It's the other way. Sorry. That's how I was pressing it with my fingers. Um, and that's really handy as well because that helps then when it comes to to piece the sections together that you've got that you know they're all pressed correctly. Is that is that right then? Yes, that's right. Um, so that as you're matching them up and you're putting them together, that it just makes that easier as well. Perfect. It's yeah. a bit hot. Don't touch it yet. OK. So then you're going to sew the next curve um, onto it. So it's just building it up, you know, uh, step by step. Perfect. Woohoo. And it doesn't look like a crazy eyebrow anymore. No. And if you haven't gone all the way to the end of your seam, this bit is a bit flappy. You know, if you've just sewn to the point, but that's OK because that this end bit here yeah. becomes, because you might look at that and have a panic, but that bit gets covered in your quarter inch seam. Yeah, but so it's like you've been you in my that. work room. <laughs> <laughs> Should this be happening? Should be... I know, uh, but... Geraldine's been in touch. She says, ladies. <laughs> That's us. My husband says, I have more rulers than a building site. <laughs> Nothing wrong in that. No. Great track. I mean, wrong you that. want a lot of accuracy in your life. Uh, got my rotating mat. First time it was on air. Yes. Merry Christmas, says Geraldine. Yeah, now you see, Geraldine is a, is a prolific yes. Creative Grids collector. We salute you. Yes. For and, that. and for the rotating cutting mat, because it is fantastic. Oh, you know, good job. Yeah, well, it just makes life easier, doesn't it? It does. So oh, I'm just left. showing you about these, these um, dog ear sections. So, you know how I was saying you must cut even those. Yes. The, the slightest uh, little angle on yes. the templates. So as you're sewing this one, and you come round to here, you can look how neatly that just fits oh, in. It just nestles in Yeah, and so your seam should, you should come round, and then that's exactly where it will end. You have no excuses for, for not making 
something no. as perfect as this. And this is the sort of quilt that you look at and think, oh, it's quite, you know, it's very complicated, yeah. it's very time consuming, it's beyond my capabilities. And it really isn't. If, if you're, you know, happy cutting out, I am now. then, yeah, then the, and the, in a way it's easier because you're not measuring anything. So you're not having to really think about the measurements. You're just using the. Of that. Yeah, yeah you're you just, just using the templates. So, you know, obviously you've got to be careful and pay attention to what you're doing, but you haven't got that added. Am I get? Have I, I got this accurately? Right? You know, yeah. uh, is this finished square? Don't talk about uh, the fact. Yesterday I got cut a block out three times and just kept doing it wrong. <laughs> just a measurement. I don't know what I was thinking about. But that's, what's, and, but that's what's so lovely is that, that you're not having to measure. The templates are there. All the hard work's done for you. Just literally so. cut it out, sew it together. How perfect. Yeah. And that's what you can be making. Suddenly that is really achievable. Yeah. I'm, that's stunning. I'm going to show you pinning because oh, I, go on. I never do. <laughs> so this is a treat. I probably just should, yeah. So I start off pinning uh, both ends for obvious reasons. And then with curves, you just want to ease it through. You can find that you know, central point. But look, see already how beautifully yeah. they, they lay it together. Does, it does want to, doesn't it? Because that, ac you know, to get that accuracy, cutting out with scissors, tracing your templates out, it's, you're just not going to have it the same as, as uh, you do with those templates. So there, if I'm pinning that, and that's all you really need because they do fit so nicely. Yeah. And then um, as I'm sewing, you just ease it, ease it round. These aren't um, very harsh curves. There's no need to stop and pivot. Okay. So it, it does go, I'm going slowly, but you know, it does go quickly when you're, when you're doing it at home. So I always start off, I do a little back stitch just, just to secure it. And you can see how nice and flat it lays as well yes. as, you're, as you're going round. So it's, a, it's an absolute treat. So if you've been worried about sewing curves or anything like that before, no. then don't, no. because this this is going to this is going to just really help you. It's going to get you over that fear. Yeah. And actually, I think using That's not the like temp a medical claim, obviously, <laughs> if you have a fear of curves, we've got it sorted. Um, the rotating cutting mat, well done. That's now gone until we get that back in. Might be waiting a little while, like we were last time. So well done if you managed to get that. I'm just looking to what it says to press to. I'm, I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah. That way? Towards L, yes. What I'm noticing is that it's when you're pressing, what it's actually suggesting you do is keep that curve. Yes. That's, look, it's done it there. Yep. So there's that curve earlier and now this curve there. And that's how it's suggesting you press. Yeah. I just noticed that. And it, it really, it really, the work is done for, it really, really is. It's not a complicated thing. pressing all to, over the place. You know, you need to take your time. And when it comes to um, sewing them together. Yeah. Because that's where, for some people, that's a really tricky thing. When you're sewing them together, if I can show you here. So if I'm sewing this one to the next section that's you know the same i all i'm doing is matching up the that point Perfect. there so you to get those to get those points to get this section beautifully you know meeting that's all you have to do is match up that straight line with the next with the next so one it job done yeah Perfect. Jo so it's oh how wonderful really is straightforward we have five minutes left oh okay um so imagine i've sewn all that together <laughs> The, the, yeah. the other bit is exactly the same. It's just that just same outer curve and then it's a straight line for the diamond. So okay. that's easy peasy. And then you sew those together. But for the background pieces, the template isn't included um, in that set. Right. What so do we need to do for, the, for that? So for the outer pieces, you just need a triangle. Oh, okay. So it's a 60 degree um, triangle. Yes. And these are eight and a half inch strips. And then you just cut them out. And these are your background pieces. Oh, that's super easy then, okay. isn't it? And actually, to have a 60-degree triangle ruler is, is one of those ones that a lot of you will have as a staple yes. in your 
in your ruler department anyway. Yeah. And what I love about this one is it's got that uh, dog ear taken yes. off. So you don't need all your dog ears off because actually they do help you uh, when you're matching up. Yes. But it's nice to have one so that that edge, you know, if, if you've got the two points, and this is a tip, when you're sewing um, it together to a block, so say I'm sewing these two pieces together, okay? I don't want to sew with the two points. I want one with the dog ear taken off, okay? So I would sew them together like that. And the reason is because when I do that, I know exactly where to start sewing. Where to start sewing. Yes. And I know that I'm maintaining my accuracy by having that so that when, once that folds back, that's going to be perfect. This is what creative critics know. Not to put dog ears on all corners, because uh, that's what I was thinking, just like, whack a dog ear on all corners, yeah. job done. No, just yeah. put it on the one, and that's enough. And then you can just use that, you know, and you can spin that round, it's the same. Oh, it's a 60 degree, isn't it? Yeah, it's an equilateral yeah. triangle. So it, yeah. it's fine. And then the whole thing is made up of triangles. So each section that you're piecing here with the curves, you form triangles, and then you're just sewing the rows together. So for each one... So that each of those, mm -hmm. they are these triangles that Lucy has just just cut but you can see that these pieces that we started to put together earlier create that triangle yeah and even with the ones um that are pieced because with your diamond you've cut that section off oh, so that you've becomes the dog ear. so you've got the dog ear cut off on that oh so that's coming clever. to so because for some people even triangles are a bit yes you know not you know they're a bit frightening um, but that's what makes it so easy and, and means that all your seams will be perfect. It's the right tools for the job. Do you remember yeah. very, very early on uh, when we launched the channel, you did a whole hour on teaching me how to cut properly with a rotary yeah. cutter. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, and it, it was... Look at you now. <laughs> <laughs> how I've blossomed. Uh, but no, in all honesty, I mean, we laugh. We do laugh about it. And actually, it was a great show because it did get me over my fear. But what it made me realise more than anything else was that actually I hadn't had the right tools for the job, which was what had made me nervous. I had rulers that slipped, worried yeah. for my fingers, worried about wasting my favourite fabrics. So didn't I didn't. Whereas now, get the right rulers. And now, you know, I'm, I'm lucky enough. I've started now with the creative mm -hmm. grids and they're the ones that I'm now buying and that yeah. I'm now getting, which means that now I absolutely love to cut. So they're and stopping I was, me now. Yeah, I was very fortunate in that that was my first ruler, yeah. you know, and that that's what led me into it because having, having that grip on it makes such a huge difference. My husband says buy cheap, buy twice, and he's right. Yeah. Any rulers that I did have, I have replaced. Yeah. And that because, you know, yeah, and they're safe, it's safer. So yes. you always need to be focused. You always need to pay attention to what you're doing. You should always be aware that this is a sharp yes. tool. Yes, yes. Um, but this does make things much easier. Thank you, Lucy. You're welcome. Hooray! You're going to be back in an hour. I am. Um, we haven't shown you the fabric that we've used this hour, so come with me and I will show you. Thank you. <laughs> This is the final product. This is what Lucy's made beautifully with the ruler that we've just been playing with. So, if you want to use the rulers that we've been working with today so that you can get the same accuracy, there it is. That's your diamond wedding ring template. Six templates in there for $29.99. But it just ensures that you get it perfect. Don't waste any fabric. Don't waste your time. Get this absolutely right. With something that saves you time and fabric, happy days. I'm all over that. $29.99, TSCQ54 is your code for that. Now, we know that you will probably be wanting to make this with the same stunning standout fabric. Here it is. So if you, it's a veritable rate. I'm going to spin it that way so that you can see. Now you are getting the navy blue there as your backing fabric, but you are getting five meters here. So um, two meters of the navy of this backing one, and then everything else is half a meter. Isn't that beautiful? Just a, a veritable feast for the eyes. Love that. Oh, uh, now they are all your Macau, 100% cotton and quilting weight. So perfect to use for $31.99. Stunning, absolutely stunning. But of course, that navy, which is what's made it all go pop, um, 
is that is that back in colour there for you. So you're getting the extra, you're getting two metres of that one and half a metre of all of those other colours. Wonderful, wonderful. It really does, it's cracking, just stunning. Now, maybe you want um, a softer palette almost. I like, look at this. So this takes you through. So it is, it's, um, it's yeah. I'm just trying to think of how to describe it. The other one is really is, is bright and rainbow. You're still getting that rainbow effect, but it's slightly more muted in the color tones. $31.99, and this is your jeweled diamond wedding ring quilt. And again, two meters of this pale one here, of the cream there, AAGC 79, and then half a meter of each of those. Yes. So please do check out your baskets, whichever color palette you really fancy. Uh, the one that Lucy's used has already been snapped up by quite a lot of you. And it's a great value for money. Look, all of that fabric, two meters, half a meter. So that's going to take you to three meters there, four meters, five meters in total. And it's just effect. Sometimes planes put carefully together are absolutely, you can't beat it. And look at that. Just stunning. That could be a kid's play mat, couldn't it? In a, in a, a rainbow of colours, absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Patricia is having a little bit of difficulty knowing where to find her what? Oh, her so special auction. Ah, now, okay. Well, I've left it over there. We're not going to show you, but... So, uh, Patricia, www.sewingquarter.com go to where it says watch along the top strand, click on watch, then underneath where you can watch us live, keep scrolling down and everything that's on our shows today is all listed there. It will disappear off the show when it's sold out. Okay, so if it's not there, it's because it's sold out. But if that's where you're looking, and we are very limited, Patricia, do, do get in quick. But if, if you aren't near a... Um, any sort of device that you can do that, then just give us a call 0800 112 4433 and our customer services will be there ready and willing and waiting to help you. Problem solved. There we go. Now, Westerly Ruler is talking of customer services. They are going to be um, on standby to help us with the Westerly Ruler show coming up next. So all you need to know is the make and model of your machine and we can do the rest. So Wesley Rulers coming up as a little extra bonus show. We didn't think we'd get it in before Christmas again, but we have. Join us after the break. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Hi, I'm Jennifer Mills and these are my three top tips. Get to know your sewing machine. Take time to practice different stitches and have a read of the manual and see whether you can drop the feed dog, for example. Can you do free motion embroidery? And just take a few moments out of your ordinary sewing machine use to experiment and get creative. My second top tip is to invest in a pressing ham. This will really make a difference if you're sewing, especially women's wear with bust darts, and it can really uh, create a very nice finish to the garment. My third top tip is to invest in different marking tools, like different types of chalk and a water erasable pen, so that you can transfer all your notches and darts and use them in different ways on different fabrics, depending on what suits your mood and what's relevant to that material. This Saturday and Sunday, the 9th and 10th of December, we have a special guest in the studio, Joy Edgington, with the Joy of Quilting Weekend. 
Joy will be demonstrating the Sew a Row quilt over four hour long shows with Derek Marks. Tune in as she shares her quilting expertise with an applique masterclass and top tips for a professional finish. The blocks in Joy's quilt include daisies, birds, hearts and jewels, along with a stunning piano keys border. This special quilt construction is ideal if you want a larger project that you can work on in stages as each row is quilted individually. Joy's expert tips on cutting and construction will help you create a quilt you'll be proud to show off. So join Joy and Derek for these four exclusive shows this weekend, only on Sewing Quarter, Preview Channel 78. Hello, welcome back now. Um, Westerly Rulers, fabulous. Angie's back. Now, Angie is the ambassador for Westerly in this country. They're an Australian brand. Um, it's Leone, isn't it, down Leone in America? Bell. Yeah. Uh, who <clears throat> has developed these rulers. She's got nearly 40 years of quilting experience. She's road tested and road tested and road tested these rulers for years before bringing them to the market. And what they do is mean that you can now get the most stunning quilting effects can I move well, Oh, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, they were there a second ago. Move that. At home. So you think how much you would pay now easily uh, 150 <clears throat> pounds to get a quilt long arm quilted. And actually, <laughs> <laughs> and actually having to send it away. And uh, now you don't have to do that because you can get these professional finishes perfectly every time in your own home by using these rulers. Now, whether you want to, this is one of my favorites, get the feathered effect. Because I, I don't, the number of women that I speak to about their quilting and they're almost apologetic if they haven't done the actual quilting themselves. They may mm. have made the most beautiful patchwork It takes some ever, away from, yeah. But if they haven't actually done the quilting then sometimes you're know, kind of apologetic. So what we've got for you today um, is, really. let's have a look. The starting place with these to go is with one of these. Now, what you get in this starter kit are, um, well, it's loads basically, isn't it? So you Two get your- Two kits in one really, it's a starter and a sampler. So the starter kit gives you the special foot. Now this is very, yeah. very important. It gives you the special foot, and Angie's got all of this over here. The, the special foot that is on Angie's machine, yeah. uh, that is the key to all of this. Without the foot, you don't forget using a Wesley ruler. You, yeah. won't, you won't manage it. It's not just a free, mo you don't just use your ordinary free motion foot yet. So you get a special foot. So in foot. this bundle, you get the foot, you get the starter rulers, ruler. and then you get the sampler rulers. Yes. Now, um, your machine, and this is the technical bit, this is why our, uh, our customer services are on hand, ready to go here. Your machine will be high shank, low shank, medium shank or special shank. I have no idea what shank my machine is. I'm going to put my hand up. Like, absolutely <coughs> no idea. But you don't have to at home either. I do know the make and model of my machine though. And so all you have to do is phone our customer services team and ask and just say to them, look, this is the make and model of my machine. They have a whole list yeah. and they will then be able to tell you whether you need the high shank, low shank, medium shank, special shank, blah, 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 blah. So this is high shank. And then once you know, once you get your, your first one, you'll know whether you need a high shank, low shank, whatever. So uh, this is your low shank here. But you're getting exactly the same in it. It's yeah. just how that foot fits, attaches. Yeah, it fits your machine. Yeah. So that's your low shank. I've got a high shank and a low shank there for you. Um, now I've got a high shank or a low shank. And then, now where are the medium and special ones? No. So we've got medium and a special one for you as well. Exactly the same kits. It's just the only thing that changes is just whether it's a medium or a special or a high or a low shank. It's just the attachment that that foot makes. That's all. The ruler's all exactly the same. In pattern, yeah. Yeah. So the, all the, the, high shank, the high shank and the low shank rulers are actually a different thickness. 
Um, oh, right, but the, the actual, the, the pattern, pattern of them. Of them. Yeah. Sorry, I should have yeah. made that clear. Yes. Yeah, so. The pattern is all exactly the yeah. same. So, which, with the beginning kit, yeah. which has your starter set and your sampler kit, which of all of these can this, I do? So, this pile here is all from all of these. six. Yeah, there should be all of those you can do with the sampler set. So these are all set. easily achievable yep. when you get the sample, the starter sample, sample starter <laughs> set. How many S's can yep. we fit into one sentence? Too many. <laughs> Maybe we could throw in shank a few more times as well. So that's one. <sighs> that's kind of, you know, showing a few of them used together, the different shapes. So. And, and that has centre of a quilt done. Yeah. Beautiful. Just that, doesn't stop it. there, doesn't, and these sure. are just some ideas. Yeah. But all of these done, look at that. You get um, a two inch circle, which I've used here, um, a three inch clamshell. There's also a four inch arc. Uh, then there's some spin effects. What we call spin effects are these ones that you work on a rotating basis of either four or eight petals or something like that. Look That's the this. mini clamshell. So you get two size clamshells. You get the mini one and the three inch one. That's the three inch clamshell. Beautiful. And also a six inch arc, which was the first sample that you showed to us. Just gorgeous. Oh, effects, yeah. And this is all, all of these you can do with your, um, with your starter kit. The one that is on your screen at the moment, 129.99. Your ruler and your template, your sampler template set. Whoa. And more because you know, that's just a sample of what you can do with them, kind of what it says on the tin. And, you know, and then you start to play and, and apply them, which is... Um, so you think you send off one quilt for the same amount of money to be, yeah. to be quilted by somebody else, and they're only going to put one design on. Yeah. Now yeah. you've got all of these options for all of these different designs that you can now do on your quilts. Yeah. Or it time. could just be that you want to do... Um, well, you see, now... For example, Chris, you know, we talked about Christmas table mats and things like that. Yes. Imagine for using your different sampler ones to create. Yeah, you just design the pattern. Yeah. yeah. I might just do a plain got... quilt just with all mm. the different quilts on. Whole cloth. It does. Well, when you when you get into ruler work, it makes you want to choose plainer fabrics, actually, <laughs> to show off your quilting. Because you're a bit annoyed if you've put all that effort in and then you can't see it too well. <laughs> <laughs> but are they easy to use? Because this looks so professional. I'm thinking, can I do that? They are. They they do take obviously a little bit of getting used to. Um, but it's a new skill. It's a, a new, new skill. skill is yeah. going to take and, a little confidence. And using a new tool. Um, but are we talking weeks? No. As, well, when I was speaking to my ladies when I was teaching um, just recently, actually. Um, I remember back to when I was asked to test this product and it was right before we were soft launching it at a big show. And I had literally like a few days before the show, they said to me, how would you like to be, you know, <laughs> the West? Do you like the product? Yes, a yes, lot. Yes, <laughs> yes, After yes. using it. As I bumped um, your arm off for But it. basically I, I sat with it for about a day and a half. So I'd say 10 hours and then you're really sort of feeling much more comfortable. And you went out it. there as and an And I went out as a demonstrator, yeah, after Amazing. just a day and a half of playing with it. So, uh, yeah, you can, you can certainly go a long way. Tina so. says, uh, morning, I'm having such fun with my rulers. Oh. But my husband says they should come with a warning. <laughs> as he hasn't had a cooked meal since they arrived. <laughs> <laughs> he's wasting away. He's obviously looking forward to Christmas. I think he's hoping that he might actually manage to get a cooked meal on Christmas. <laughs> but you know, but if Excellent. you have these rulers, yeah, it is very addictive. I'm afraid. Yeah, ruler sorry, work is very husband. addictive. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Um, now, if you have this starter kit yeah. already, and you have um, the sampler kit already, how about adding to your collection? Tease you with that a little bit. In which case. This one. Look at the wreaths, circles and wreaths. The circles and wreaths, look at that. Now again, by this stage, because you you have to have the starter kit before you can progress to this one. You because have to have you have foot. to have the yeah. foot, okay? Yeah. But 
This is the wreath set, the four piece wreath set. Now again, you will know by now whether you are high shank, low shank, any other kind of shank. So you'll know which one, but if in any doubt, just give us a, a call. We'll show you a few others, but let's get going because for those of you that are like, what, what are they talking about? <laughs> what is this newfangled device? Okay, well, so um, the last time, we weren't expecting to be back with Westerly, basically before the new year, but um, the team, well, last time I was on, someone um, messaged in and said that like, they struggle with how to then apply them. It's okay, you know, playing around on plain fabrics like this, but then how do you apply them to quilts? Which set the cogs in motion. Which set the cogs in motion with the team that then um, got in touch with me and said, how would I like to apply some westerly rulers to some of the quilt as you go? So um, I've had great fun adding some of the templates to uh, Savvy, Savvy Stripes. Savvy that? Stripes. Savvy Stripes Details Express. for that going down yep. the bottom. So um, I don't know, is it easier to show the other side or does it pick up? You can see some of it on that side. But um, so this quilt was fully made, um, bound even. So it's not, not really the normal way you would normally quilt to the edges, but yeah, I was still able, go. I was still able to add the quilting to this, um, which is what I'm going to try and do in the next hour is to show you how you can add these things to your Now, to if your I quilt. want to get this effect, yeah. which ruler set do I need? That's in the wreaths. That's one okay, of the, so that's the one wreath of the patterns, wreaths. yeah. So um, this one I've done out of the sampler set. So it's got the two inch circle. Right. And I've used the six inch arc to make the bigger six inch circle on there. So sampler is going down the bottom, but just give our customer services number yeah. a call. Free to do so, UK call center 0800 112 And they'll be able to tell you exactly which one you need. Just know the make and model of your machine and you're good to go. Fabulous. Yeah. So what I thought I'd do, if mm -hmm. that's okay, but please message in if you'd like to see something in particular. Um, but what I thought I'd do is the quilt that we were making earlier, I thought I'd have a little play on this. I've added the extra strips that I hadn't finished. Because um, like you say, on, on air, we've only ever sort of done little samples. Um, but it's sort of, I thought we'd have a look at how we might add some pattern to this. Well, I think what's really important is that, you know, we have only done small samples. Mm -hmm. And of course, at home, you, as our viewer that emailed in, who set this whole show in motion, she said, I need to see this on a whole quilt. How would I do this on a whole quilt? So... And we've talked about how um, the difference that, uh, dealing with the weight and the size yes. of fabric and things like that. And I would suggest that you build up. When I teach um, ruler work, we start on small sort of 10 to placemats. 12 inch so your placemats squares. First. Then I move up to fat quarters. Yes. And then don't go dead straight ahead and try and tackle a big quilt because you're going to be dealing with other issues that you're not used to or as well as the ruler work. get a quarters you go kit, which is in the little 12 yes. and work it up work from there. Those. Now, um, we've put the Savvy Stripes, which is this one, um, just on its own, just if you just want the wadding, because this one's about to sell out. Okay. But we'll, we'll use this. Diane says, just got my ruler and I've ordered the stripes kit. Yippee! Yay. Yeah, that's lovely. It's, I really enjoyed doing that, actually. <laughs> and because it was lovely floral fabrics, um, it was nice to be able to pick the different floral um, of the spin effects patterns yes. and the wreaths to, to actually apply to it. And that's the other thing, really. It's applying, depending on what the quilt is, what you might like it to... be the designer. Yeah. So this, this piece is very, obviously, very straight lines. We've got sort of, it's not very floral. It's a very straight line sort of log cabin. You could do, you could quilt this totally with straight line work. You could do... Or you could go the other way and the add the floral in Absolutely. by your quilting. Absolutely. What are we going to do? Um, and also, um, I'll show you on the Savvy Stripes at some point, but you can also think about, you can quilt within a panel, mm -hmm. uh, which is what I've done on some of the Savvy Stripes, but you could also use the centre Oh, and have it and have the design sort of bouncing out on both, which is oh, what nice. I did with those bigger circles. It's actually um, kind of ignoring the stripes, if you like. So, well, let me just show you yeah. that bit. So here. So we're actually crossing. Uh, I've used the seam line there uh, between two fabrics. So this out, is out of your sampler set. Yeah. Hang on. Let me just show you that there. So instead of stitching the design 
completely centered down this block. I've decided to use the seam as my center line. And then if we show it on the back, maybe we can see. So the seam is in the center of the four circles. Yeah. Nice. And I was only going to do this curve on the one side, and then actually I added it on the other side. I thought it doesn't really matter, but there's another straight line seam there. So it like you works. say, yeah, it all, all works. works. It all ties in. No, I think it looks lovely, really beautiful. And it, uh, and yeah. it has just embellished an already pretty quilt and just That's made it. it even more special. So uh, I did all that just on a regular sized machine, an old, um, just an old banana at home. So what is this? What is it that these rulers, these Westerly rulers allow then? OK, so for instance, on the centre of this um, quilt, obviously it's the centre. We don't want to quilt it to death and cover up our lovely octopus, but it'd be nice to put some embellishment on there. Um, and obviously in the centre of a quilt with a walking foot, if you know if you're not happy free motion uh, with a walking foot you'd have to keep manhandling Turning this quilt. And spinning you around, saw how yes. cumbersome it was even when you're just you know doing the piecing you know turning it around so what i'm going to show is i'm going to hopefully stitch a four petaled um, design in the center oh really of here yep excellent <laughs> and, using and which can, rulers with, i'm just going to do that with just the starter ruler okay if I can find where I've put it, I'm sure I will find where I've put it. Yes, there. <clears throat> now, it's so um, clear that you lose The ruler them. and template. If you see ruler and template, that's what we're using. The ruler and template, we basically run out of uh, things to write on there. So <laughs> the ruler and template is your beginner set. That's your sampler set, your beginner set. That's got your foot in it. That's everything. So um, low shank, high shank, whatever shank it is that you need, if you're not sure, just give us a call, 0800 112 There's no change in the price. It's just down to what is going to fit your machine. There you go. OK. So um, I, I'm going to stitch. Um, I need a centre point right. from my centre. And I'm going to stitch sort of a four petals into a petal into each corner, okay, basically, nice. with, with the curve of the starter ruler. So that's not going to overpower him, is it, at it's all? It's not going to overpower him. Um, so I'm going to do that and then talk to you about how you could continue that design out Ooh. onto the outer um, panels, if you like, um, and just talk about with ruler work as well. We don't want to keep tying ends in. So it's almost okay. about like trying to think about how you might travel with the design oh, nice. um, so you don't have all those ends to tie in. So I'm just going to mark uh, a centre on there. Okay. Um, I did actually mean to bring maybe... Um, I don't know if anyone's shown this pen on air because it's quite severe pen, but it's water soluble. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. And I tested it. This is it. Joe Carter's favourite pen. Yeah, I tested it the other day with just a wet cotton bud. Yes. Rather than waiting until you've washed it, and it does yeah. disappear yeah, yeah. really, really yeah. easily. So, um, so you have done it. You've you've shown how we it actually works. have a water pen that you can put over the top to take the take it out. Ah. Ah, excellent. I've not seen that. So uh, I'm just going to mark a, a cross in the centre then. Um, ruler work, you do end up having to, to mark the fabric. So obviously there's lots of different tools out there. But um, Actually, that blends in quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> with the brown. <laughs> with the designs. <laughs> OK. So the foot, you set your machine up for... Sorry, my uh, mic pack's getting in the way of my stool. Um, you we like to give you as many different challenges, challenges don't we? <laughs> yeah. That's OK. You set your machine up for free motion. So the feed dogs are lowered, where, uh -huh. however you do that on your machine. And then what we need to do, uh, we take all the other feet and the foot holder off the machine okay. and just screw the westerly foot on. Uh, screw it on just loosely and then actually apply the project underneath the foot before you set the height of it totally. Right. Okay. You want to position and lower the foot. And we just want to check that that's going to move freely. Because if you have there's a, different there's a gap. heights and loftiness of wadding, then that's that, right. might, that might change. Yep. So when you're happy with that, are you happy with that? So you can, I, I'm just going to lift it a fraction because I don't want it to give me any drag. You want okay. to make this as easy to move as possible. The only thing about don't have it too high is when the ruler's alongside the foot, if you've got a very lofty wadding, when you press down on the ruler, you don't ever want the ruler to be able to slip underneath the foot. OK. So with a very flat wadding, you're not going to get that. Right. But with a lofty wadding, when it compresses, right. the ruler might just slip underneath. Um, so uh -huh. just be aware of that. OK. OK. 
um, then we're ready to go. And thinking about this, um, what well, I talked about traveling. So it would be quite natural to start in the center. Yes. To think about stitching four That's petals. That's exactly where I would start. That's where you'd start. No, um, is that not right? <laughs> I'm actually going to start from one of the corners because it will allow me when I've stitched that to then continue. And that is why you are the expert <laughs> demoing it and I'm just uh, watching. So we're going to turn this around here because I shall explain in the next stage, hopefully, um, <laughs> what we can do from there without keep tying lots of ends in. So I'm going to start in the corner. I'm going to bring my um, thread up just as you would for normal free motion. If you've not done free motion before, you need to bring your bottom thread up through your Why? fabric. Why? Oh, I sound like my three arms. Why? <laughs> it's, um, you know, when you start a seam and, and the thread sometimes sucks back. Yes. Um, and gets tangled sometimes. Oh, bird's it pull, nests it pull, on the back. It pulls back in. Yes. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevent that really okay. so right, with the no, free motion. Good. So we pull it up through the top and I just like to do a couple of stitches just to knot it, it's almost like, mm. and then that's not going to go anywhere. Okay. You can cut that off afterwards. Okay, so this is the reason you need um, a decent size extension table um, because I'm now going to um, attempt to stitch <laughs> from here to the corner um, with this starter ruler to make a, one side of my petal shape. Okay, Excellent. you've got your little measuring tool in here in the packet, which you'll think, what on earth is that for? Now, you normally keep this around your neck, yeah. don't you? <laughs> but you've got a very pretty attached. necklace on instead today. <laughs> um, what, what on earth is this? Okay, so the foot's been designed that it's a, the foot itself is half an inch okay. diameter. So it's exactly a quarter of an inch from the needle to the edge of the foot. This is so clever. Yes. This, is, this is where the, yeah. the, the years of design in this really are, are the yeah. key. So, so clever. That's the key because it's not just a random size. Right. And because it's a quarter of an inch, it means that we can accurately judge where we're stitching to and from. Because ah, you already know that measurement. Yeah, because you know that, that measurement. centre point where your needle is. So if I was stitching along just with the foot butted up to this ruler and I, and I aligned the ruler to exactly to the centre mark, I would end up a quarter of an inch out, wouldn't I? Because the yes. width of the foot is in yes. the way. So we yeah. don't end, we don't, again, I would have probably done that. It's easy, it's an easy mistake when yeah. you, yeah, because yeah. you just get all excited, you line it up and you, you think I'm away and then you'll end up not hitting the centre point. So what do I do? Andy? So the little gadget has got a quarter of an inch um, side on it uh -huh. and we can use this to replicate the width of the foot. So I can put it between the ruler and the point that I want to hit uh -huh. and then put the ruler up to that the ruler's just long enough for me to make this um shape nice. okay i'm going to put my gloves on because this will help me a little bit <laughs> hopefully i do find cordon gloves funny <laughs> so funny i don't know why they just take me back to a kid there was when, when i was little at school there was one mum that used to come and pick her daughter up from school and she always wore driving gloves oh. and it was the, the only person that any of us had ever seen that still wore driving gloves <laughs> and that's just what it reminds me of. I can still remember she had a, she had um actually she had a mini this kind of coloured, tiny really? like, you know, the old fashioned the old minis. Yeah. And she had driving gloves, amazing. Anyway. Don't, yeah, people don't wear driving gloves these no, days, they don't, do they? they? Okay. So we just want a little bit of pressure down, um, like you say, so the ruler will move with the fabric all together and keep your hands nice and flat and just take it nice and easy. I've got this machine set too fast. So we can just, nice and steady, you can stop. As long as I don't move the ruler, I can stop and breathe. I can readjust my hands, make sure nothing's slipping. Uh, but you don't even have to see where you're going to, as mm -hmm. long as you've aligned the ruler in the, initially in the right place, then you'll end up at the centre point. Now, again, this is thinking about um, designing with your ruler work. The natural thing, again, instead of like starting in the centre, is to come back out and complete yes. that petal. Yes, exactly if, what I would have done. If I do that, I'm then trapped in the corner and I haven't stitched the other sides. So... Yes. Yeah. Yes, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It's a good job so, you're here, Ange, isn't it? So now what I can do is I can stitch all of the other petals yeah. and then come back to that corner. OK. And then I'm ready to carry on. So that's what I'll go now from here out okay. to the far corner. Oh, so now you use that quarter inch the other yeah. end. Use it the other end. I want to hit somewhere in the corner. Anywhere. 
somewhere, yeah. anywhere. Well, there. the beauty of working within a block, it doesn't have to, you know, the design doesn't have to go right to the point. It could stop an inch yes. from the edge, no, absolutely. really. It doesn't have to be this big, the petal. Now, we've giggled about the quilting gloves, but why do you actually use them? Um, they do actually, it's a bit like the, uh, we haven't talked about the packets all come with stable tape. Um, when I get to the end of this, um, uh, to give the rulers grip against the fabric. And the gloves are doing a similar thing, really. They're okay. helping you to grip. You know when you work with uh, fabrics and your hands go very slippery and you want to lick? <laughs> a friend said to me, oh, wow, that might stop me from con constantly licking my hands <laughs> when I'm sewing. Um, but like the ruler, we've got this, um, it's like non-slip. Um, but it's it's double side, you know, it's sticky, so yeah, you can apply yeah, yeah. it to your rulers. And on this side, obviously, the ruler would slip on the fabric, but this just gives it that little bit, ah, so nice. that the fabric moves. You want the fabric and the ruler to move together, not for the ruler to be slipping, right. because it's going to be moving from where you want it. These grips come in your pack, so yeah. don't worry about that. That is coming in your, and you just decide you where you it. want them. You do yeah. get a strip. Pop it wherever you want. Uh, the gloves are on the website, so if you want to get yourself some. Very attractive. I did grab gloves. them at the last minute, so yes. <laughs> but they, yes, they just give you extra grip holding extra everything. Purchase. Yes, some They're people. Very, it's a very um, personal thing. Some people like them. Some people dislike them. So you can see, I've got you know the quilt's just squashed up there. You're only ever working on that centre block. So, but I'm not. I've not turned yeah, it just, once yet. And that's where yeah. everything gets caught and tangled in that trying to twist and turn things around. I haven't turned it, and I've stitched two perfect curves that I'd have never have achieved free motion. Brilliant. Just you know. Brilliant. So. Um, with ease. Yeah, with, when my ladies are getting frustrated, you know, on the, in the first um, 10 minutes that they're not perfect. <laughs> Do you have class. to remind them? Yeah. Um, would you have imagined this? I just, yeah, would you have stitched that yeah, at all in free, mo in free motion? So, um, you know, and it will come. But um, no, I think people come to ruler work. The people that take to ruler work are people that love geometric patterns, obviously. Uh -huh and perfection they're perfectionists aren't they you know they're like yes. accurate patterns so um yeah you you will love you know you will love making the designs if you love that accuracy do you know what so or i am dealing with people i tend to be say, dealing with um perfectionists. recovering perfectionists i like to call my students because i have to try and get them over you know that do you also piece. get those? Oh, Andy, can we just have a quick a quick look from a, from afar so we can yeah. just start to see? Oh, there we go. Now, if we point to the here we go. Yeah. So we've got there's that. one perfect curve there, another perfect curve there, perfect curve there. Them in. They're coming around. So I'm going to try and if I stitch these the if I stitch those in and then before I take it out of the machine. No, but you, you can would see I'm not, not managed that free motion having to spin things. It just wouldn't have happened. Um, or you would have to dedicate your life to basically to trying it. to do that yeah. free motion. And you can see I'm stitching blind now out of the back to this corner, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I haven't had to twist the quilt once yet. Um, it is marvellous, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. So, and it's, I'm chatting to you at the same time. Now I get the blame for everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They would have been perfect apart from the attachments. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm able to chat to you, is the key. So, and I'm not having to keep manhandling the quilt. So, obviously, the obvious things of working with a bigger piece um, is when you're squashed. When I was stitching the Savvy Stripes, I remember the one strip, I did, instead of putting it through this way, through the machine, I actually went from side to side. So I'd oh, got, did you? and I've only got a normal size machine yeah. at home. So I'd got the whole of that quilt, you know, compressed. Yeah. Um, but it's doable, it is it doable. It is incredible. And yeah. the results, you, you wait, wait till you see this. It's, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, so you, you say recovering perfections. Yeah. I also think those of us that can't afford to keep sending quilts off to get that, just for the cost of getting one professionally long arm quilted, you can now do it for yourself in yeah. numerous different designs. Absolutely. Um, 
Yeah, you see, long arm quilting machines. I thought, well, why don't I just go and get myself one of those? Then I saw the price, and I was because <laughs> I don't even drive a car that costs that much money. Yeah. That's why. Uh, and uh, this is uh, far more achievable. So, uh, well, then $29.99 costs far less than a car or a long arm quilter. Well, then you might have to have a building to put long arm machines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or, you know, build. Uh, Build yes. a studio to house it if you've got nowhere, you know, big enough. Oh, were you, Lee? Were you? <laughs> I thought that would stuck a bit then. Were you on the corner of my quilt? So warm. Testing me, testing me. So warm. <laughs> Just Hannah says that's why I'm not allowed in the studio. It's difficult for me to present a show, though, not in the studio. Sorry, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> I think Hannah feels justified for her comments earlier now. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, anyone seeing this hopefully for the first time is um, what you do have to do. You can see now. I'm trying to see where to put the ruler to. Yes. And this, ex you can see now why you need this extension table. Right. Yes, I'm with you. Um, to be able to put the rulers in in position. And what you do need to do, we do get a bit of calinetic exercise, ladies, because you do have to get up out of your out of your chair occasionally and look over the top of the machine. Kind of whaty. Calinetics. Get a bit What's of exercise. That? Calinetics like small movement. Oh, oh well, that's very good for you. <laughs> very good, yeah. So uh, we do get a Producer bit of Producer says that's her kind of exercising. A small movement. Just small movement. Little, little Hang on, you used to go to the gym after, like, every... Every... Every Friday? Producer Hannah. Oh, she's not, not, not anymore. Not anymore. Chance would be a fine thing, she says. We're tiring her out too much. We're working her too hard. I think she'd do this instead. She agrees, by the way, that we work very hard. <laughs> <laughs> so you see now about, about thinking about your route as well as your pattern. Because I'm going to come back out now. Oh, just out yeah. to the final... To final the corner. And then we've done our four corners. Now, uh, ruler work, it's, it's not a fast process. So like we were saying earlier, if you've, if you've made a, you know, a, had to make a fast quilt as a very speedy gift. You're not going to choose to probably ruler it. <laughs> but do you know what? Having said that, you could you could do a central piece like this. Yes. As a detail. And this hasn't this has only taken what ten minutes. Yeah. Actually I did I did quilt that in a day. There you go. So it depends like how quickly, you know, how speedy you want to be really. So there we are, back out to the corner. If I can quite get there. There we go, and we're there. I don't know if the camera pick, can pick up on that, but if not, we can turn it um, just on the other side in a second. Can we see, can take it out? Can, can we see? see? Hang on. Best way to show it's, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it, with it still yeah. in the machine? Uh, so you can, oh, can. oh yeah, there you go. So now. you can see these coming out, these arcs coming out perfectly from there in, well, 10 minutes. Yeah. And all the way up to here, all the way up to here, all and with the ruler and templates. That's, I mean, that's just one thing. That's just the starter ruler, which is a straight line and curve. And it's so useful. You see, this is it. Lots of people think that you're not going to be able to do very much with just mm. a straight line and, and one curve. But look. always be referring back to this as well as, you know, yeah. applying it with your other rulers. It's a perfect one. So that's... Um, on your screen is the low shank. Now, whether you need high shank, low shank, medium shank, special shank, blah, 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 special shank, they're all exactly the same price. Just get on the phone, 0800 112 4433, uh, and just give us the make and model. I was going to say the name. Like if you called your machine Bert or something, then obviously we won't know. Uh, <laughs> but if you know what make and model, like this is the Excellence 730 by Elna, would ring up, say that, and then, yeah, it's a whatever shank it is, and we will send you out the correct one. Yeah. Bish bash bosh. My friend's machine's called Meatloaf. I don't think they'd know if you asked them what, what shank Meatloaf was. That, that might not be <laughs> on their, not be uh, their Excel their spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. I don't know. <laughs> Could have had it on. So I'm um, just talking... I'll do anything for love. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just um, going back to talk, discussing about design, because um, I know lots of ladies out there, you're fabulous at doing all this, like you say, all these perfectly pieced tops. Yes. But then people sometimes struggle with... Then what? Uh, yeah, how to how Because to, how it's to a whole it. other art form. It is. I, I really it do is. believe that. It's it a whole is. other art form. Yeah. And um, 
when I was looking at this as a whole um, for this show, and I initially thought, well, like you say, I didn't want to quilt him too much in the centre, but I wanted to apply something. So I'd had the initial idea to do the petals in the centre. I don't know if the cameraman can get yeah, this yeah, close. Yeah. yeah, perfect. So I'd had the idea initially to do the four petals in the centre, and then I thought about what to do down the side panels. Um, and you can treat them, as we talked about, you can treat them as individual rectangles. Um, if you'd like to, you know, you could have a different pattern in each one. You can treat them um, as the cornerstones, you know, of the actual um, log cabin, you know, suggests in the colourways, or you can treat it as a whole. And what I, what, I, what I realized, and I didn't know this in my head when I started to design this, initially I just thought, oh, well, I could do another petal there to the corner. And then I, judge, coming down this panel, then I could go to there, and I could go to there, and I could go to that corner. And you can actually work, if you don't do the full ones here, I can actually work round, just do the full ones in the corners, work round. And then on the next round, I can put those other ones in. Ah, because you've got that accuracy of yeah, the ruler. Of the ruler. I could actually stitch all those petals around without breaking the thread, like as I've come out to a corner, no tying in. <laughs> but I actually then, when you start to look at it as a whole, so um, when you get your instructions, if you've, if you've bought this um, Colorado, you can, f f I blew this up about 200% and then you can start to have a play and, a and doodle. do your designs. Yeah, if you know the shapes, like here we're, we've got some two inch circles overlapping, going down a panel. So um, have a little doodle and, and see what kind of patterns. And but because all of these could be done with the ruler and template set, all yeah. of those different. Uh, let me show you again the different. Um, so you could be doing with your ruler and template set. So the template, the ruler and template set is your starter point. It gives you the foot, it gives you the basic rulers, and then it gives you samplers so that you can be able to do things like this and start to explore and play and maybe just do a set of six different table mats, all with different things on. Or even if you just did little blocks with different things in within your quilt, so actually you do a sampler block, um, a sampler quilt of blocks. Whether you do the clamshell. Yeah. I was how amazed how much the clamshell disappeared into that Liberty fabric, actually. But it, right. it, it has a similar... The Liberty fabric has got a bit of a clamshell in the pattern. Yeah. There, there you are. Just, they just there give you a, a, a whole range. But what about... Them. I love this. Do you know this reminds me... Do you remember when we first came to air and we had that very Hungry Caterpillar Hungry fabric? Hungry Caterpillar, yeah. Could you imagine if you'd quilted that, <laughs> that one, the one like that? It would have been amazing. It'd be like having caterpillars all over it. And then that as well. This is all from your starter kit. Your ruler and your template set. All of those. All of those. Mm -hmm. Just incredible. So, you know, even if you took... Just that's one design there yeah. and just did that all over your quilt or that in a circle all over your quilt. You've got already there four different quilting designs just on one. On, so many. That's so many ways. As you're um, with the Savvy Stripes, actually, even choosing one design to go down a strip, you're then it's the repetition and the practice. Of, of doing that um, template that you know that's all good all good practice for we're going to try and show you the back of of the quilt because it's um under our lights it's so white to is show oh, yeah okay. but, but 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 look what we did was before we came to wear oh, that's yeah. an example of the back of that white quilt it's difficult to show isn't yeah it? but you see that's perfectly yeah. done they've, yeah. done they've done a grand job you see that shows it is, and yeah. that all with this um ruler and template set yeah Fabulous. Those are all from the sampler set as well, those ones that you've just shown. Now, uh, you know what so, we haven't shown yet? Yeah. We have, because I did promise that we had other ones as well, and we haven't shown yet. Okay. So the feathers, and we demonstrated the feather kit, didn't we, last, we did. last time we came yeah. to air? But um, can we remember what date that was? We'll look it up. It'll be about two weeks Because it was the ago. last time you were... Was it last time Yeah, it was on a Saturday. Yeah. So not last Saturday, the Saturday before. So this <laughs> is your high and your low shank, and this is for your feathers. 
Now, you may not remember if you had a high or a low shank, doesn't matter, you can just ring up 0800 1124433. But you will just need your machine, make and model. I love that. Okay, and of course, these are, these are the next stage. So once you've got your mm -hmm. ruler and template set, you've got the special foot, that's the key, yeah. is having this special foot for your machine. And then all of these rulers then work in conjunction with that set. So if, you, if you're starting from scratch today, go with the ruler and template set. But if you're adding into your ruler, your, your ruler stable, mm. then uh, the feathers are a beautiful way to start feathers, aren't they? well absolutely because you can get that movement you can get that swell or you can just do it from that central point and yeah and feather out from there beautiful beautiful okay. is that always a popular one the feathers um yeah it's not it should be yeah people i mean yeah if people love feathers aren't they they're just a die hard for feathers but um it's not a it's not a starter ruler i'd say it's no di more difficult to hold than any other ruler and to stitch out, but it takes, you've got to put some designing in to ah, get in the, the okay. spacing and things. But um, I think it's, it's just one of those, isn't it? When you practice with it a little bit and then things start to click into place like, like anything else. Yeah, I was teaching feathers on Monday actually, so. Now this nice. one here is your wreath. So here you have four different wreath templates. Now you get four different wreaths in this pack you might be confused because there's five, showing you five samples well, there. Well, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've used this um, template here, just spun it round the other way to make a fifth one. Um, so you can squeeze another oh. one out of it. So it's actually that one in reverse, just uh, as an eight. This is 16 rotations. Oh, That's there just it is. eight. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. So again, high and low, but do just... Um, and they will, cool. they will have different sizes on them as well. So a couple of them are seven and a half inch and a couple of them will be five and a half. So that way as well, you can think about what you're applying to the blocks. Yes. Yeah. Now, what have I got here? You've got mini Baptist man there. Which is our other... That's just a selection, obviously, of the different patterns that you can make with it because you can choose. Obviously, this one is showing you every increment. Yes. Of, of what's in the kit. Um, this one is only using one size of the curves. These two are using two different ones, but with different spacing. It gives you such a different yeah, variety, so you've got doesn't it? Lots of variety. Just. And I've done these here, actually here with quarter segments, but you can actually ha use do you know the full half circle if if Gosh. you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so yes, you, lots of fun. That's with those. stunning. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. People, pe when I first um, was demonstrating westerly rulers the first year people just seeing what you could achieve were saying is there a is there a baptist fan is there a baptist yes fan? there is so yes. um, because there are there are so many designs actually it's deciding what to import you know Sometimes what's going what, what's going to be popular thing, for it? people yeah what they want so oh, don's got a question Oh, here it is. Uh, how would you echo the caterpillar type design? Right, let me find you the caterpillar okay. type design. This one here. Okay, yep. I know exactly. Oh, I know exactly what she means. Yeah. So um, the circles are actually um, two-inch circles mm -hmm. on a curve. Yep. And then I've used. This is what I was saying about the the beauty of the sampler set is that they the shapes in there they actually work together really well. This next curve is the three-inch clamshell. Ah, okay. So I've used the two inch circle, then the three inch clamshell. Yeah. And then I continued to just push the clamshell out a fraction until I couldn't get the right curve. And then I moved on to the four inch arc. Ah, clever. So, so the possibilities all, are yeah, endless. Yeah. So they all sort of slot together Brilliant. using that. Brilliant. Yeah. And what a stunning design that is. Yeah, it's one of the yeah. earliest designs. It's lovely. Now let's stitch. Yeah, let's stitch some so, more because this is this is the kit. I'm not going to lean on it, but do I you want, want to me see. to stitch some petals down there, or shall I stitch something else? Shall I stitch a different pattern? Whichever what would you, you like me to show? What like, oh, you're the designer. Okay, <laughs> we've, okay. So we've seen we've seen the uh, petal. Yeah, I mean, so I, let's do something different. Do something different. That's fine. Because I could quite happily, you know, like it's, it's been really nice to show it with all the petals, but we're here to show some of the different rulers, so um, I'm happy to do that. We'll just snip those 
off. But like you say, the design possibilities yeah, that's are it. endless. Okay. This is now uh, where actually I get quite excited about the fact that I have five unfinished patchworks at home ready to quilt. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually. <laughs> so if you would like to, can you get the sample that's got all the little flowers on? Yes. For me, please. And we'll choose. What we'll do. So again, this is from your ruler yeah. and template set. This is now the choice that we're... Oh, decisions, decisions. Orange. So these panels are five inches, I think, now that they're um, pieced, aren't they? Let's oh, yes, look. yeah, because you yeah. cut five and a half inch strips, didn't you? Yeah, so they're, yeah, about five inches. So we need to choose a pattern from there that will fit in uh, a five inch um, block. So I think he'll fit in, won't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I could do show you how to do this one. Yes, maybe. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a nice um, clover, and I've actually done it on the Liberty, on the Savvy Stripes as well. We'll do him a four. On the tilde? On, that, on the tilde, on that one. yes. Yes. Sorry. Oh, oh Alison's a message. Tilda. Yeah, she says, hi, girls. On the sampler sets, have you just used white thread or a matching thread? Oh, good question. What have we used? On the what, sorry? Oh, oh on these, on these sampler ones, uh, what That's sort of kind of gold. It's kind like of a, a goldy one. A neutrally goldy colour. It's not uh, like a metallic one, though, is no, it? No, it's no. just... It's just um, like um, a po it's a polyester thread, okay. actually. Like a rayon. So whatever you would be a, happy yeah, to, you... to quilt in. Yeah. The um, Savvy Stripes I've done all with just a cream gutterman. And you can see, where's the one we're going to do now? Is it over? Is it the other side? Oh, is that, oh there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That's so that's one. what we're about to have a go. We'll have a little look at nice. that one. Nice. Okay. Nice, nice. And it's just, and on the front, I don't know if you can see it within that tilde design, it but it's, it's that extra bit of detailing, isn't it? Can you see? Yeah. Where if I move it, you can start to see. Yes, you're showing that now. Yeah. yeah. Whoa! <laughs> love it. Thank you for doing that for us, by the way, Ange. That's okay. So you can actually um, quilt it from this side or the other side. Don't okay. forget. So I actually quilted all that from the plain side, so I wasn't distracted by pretty things. Pretty things. <laughs> <laughs> well put. Unlike me, who gets very easily distracted by pretty things. Oh, should we just show on the back there? So we you can, see? Yeah. Straight here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let me leave that for there you go. Now you can really see. That's it. So you That's can, perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. But you could do that whole design yeah, over the whole it out. Yeah. That's going to be so. the hardest thing, is actually deciding what design what to, to do. go for. I know, I know. So what I'm going to do um, here now in one of these panels, I'll stitch it from this side if you like. All we need is a centre point. OK. Um, and we'll put mark a centre line. What I did on the Savvy Stripes, because I'm talking about design a lot, but it's what people have asked to, to, uh, to um, consider. I measured what the width of the quilt was. Yeah. So it was about 39 and a half inches. Worked out if I was using a four and a half inch flower pattern. So divide it by that. Is it going to fit Whatever in? Whatever you've got left, then there's a little gap in between. Okay. Uh, so, so you can work your spacing out or you can work out if you want to join them. Nice. Yeah. So you oh, can nice. work it out. Oh, you really and can. so you can centre it or, you know, work from the centre out each way to get something to fit. Um, so I'm just going to mark, do we have a, a long ruler underneath there somewhere? It's under there. So there we big. go. So we, we'll just mark a centre. And again, you're using your water erasable pen here. This is yeah. the one when I came in um, very early on in the show's days and uh, there were some of the Joe Carter's big eared bunnies face down on the radiator. <laughs> What's going on? She'd washed, she'd washed, washed the them. pen off their faces and, uh, and had them. I was like, what's going on? Weird things happen in our office, to put it mildly. So, yeah, this is, um, I'll just mark that like that. And it was about, how big was the pattern, did we say? Was it about four and, four and a half, maybe? Something like May that? Maybe. <laughs> Would you like to measure it again? No, no, it doesn't have to be there accurate. 
doesn't have to be accurate. It's going to be accurate. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong way around. That's, is that one? Got my ring the wrong way up. One, two, three, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. So I'm going to put a little mark at four and a half, I think. Yeah, yeah. Four but you, you get to design. Yeah, absolutely. Two and a half. Let's there put we go. a little half. So, so this is just to find a centre point, I wherever you want that centre yeah. to be. It could be the centre of that entire strip that you want, then it. that's entirely up to yeah. you. Uh, question from... Oh, Tina, I'm sorry, it's an email, I can't see it up there. Okay. When she sets this up on her machine... Yes. Does she just clip the foot on as a normal foot? Um, it doesn't clip on. Right. So you need if if you if you have a machine with clip on feet, you you need to take the clip on feet off and, and unscrew ankle. the foot holder. Yeah. yeah. Unscrew the foot holder as well. So you're left with just the bare metal shank. Uh, yeah. You get instructions in the kit which, which show you, you know, you're not just left to it. So and also the advice is to make sure you have a, a nice extension table. Great excuse to get yourself the extension table you've always wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, so you will get instructions in here. There they are, how to set up, so you're not just left on your own. No. Don't, don't worry. And also watch back the shows. And all the templates, um, because of that quarter inch, all of the templates have got fantastic markings, um, guidelines all over them. You've either got, you know, for straight lines and curves, you've got good quarter inch and half inch echoes. Um, this one, I've got sort of centre points to keep me all aligned up because I'll either be doing four or eight rotations with this. Okay. So this this um, ruler, you can use it um, to create the different pattern, this one. So it's the same ruler that's used to create that, but I'm actually creating a different pattern with it just to so be So you've got it upside down? Yeah, I'm using it back to front and without the pin. Okay. So... <laughs> because you know yeah you can <laughs> hey, let me just remind once you start to play you'll find out what what you are comfortable with won't yeah, you and absolutely and what you like to do and i also haven't mentioned that any of the rulers that you stitch on the inside of now this is a ruler that we stitched the inside the other one we were stitching on the outside they've got this fantastic little clever. jigsaw key so i can interchange the rulers again without breaking your thread so um I just remember which way up it goes. So everything is made yeah. to make this easier. And it's Super all been easy. really well thought out. This took years of design, like planning, road testing, yeah. by a lady that has only 40 years worth of quilting experience. I mean, you know, she really knows her stuff. And, you know, like Tina, when you start to play, you're just going to have so much fun. And, uh, you know, we set out with one idea. You'd sketched out one idea. And we've gone, actually, let's try another one. Yeah. And I've actually, um, again about travelling, I'm actually going to stitch half of a petal, stitch the rest of it in, come back so that I can stitch two flowers without, oh, nice. without breaking the thread for you. So again, I'm not using it on the pin this time, on an eight rotation, I'm just choosing to use do four. Yeah. So now I'm going to, I've got my cross marked on my fabric, on my centre line, I turn it around to the next point, I've got a lovely guideline here to keep me yes. centred. I've got the set, a guideline there and also the pinholes in the centre. I realign it up and stitch again. And you can see I'm not having to battle too much with the quilt. Um, we're not having to turn it. The ruler turns, not the quilt. That's what's so, so clever yeah, about this. Once you're, you, you're only ever worried about this small area that you're working on, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Often it's the bit in your lap that's the heaviest to deal with. That's the warmest um, bit, though, too. <laughs> I saw a fantastic contraption on uh, social media the other day that this lady had actually designed all these um, almost like DIY grips um, on tripods um, to hold up her quilt, <laughs> to take the weight off her quilt, so the end, the end that we'll go to. So oh, yeah, but I always like to be really warm, so I like, I like sitting <laughs> under the quilt as I'm quilting. I get really sad when I get to the end. I'm like, no. Oh. 
that's the nice thing about sitting binding, isn't it? That you get to sit with a quilt yes. on your on your lap all evening. So we only have a few minutes oh. left. Oh, okay. And I just drifted off then with you said that, so I've ruined my pattern. <laughs> See, I get the blame yeah. again. It's always my no, fault. No, I did do oh. a big drift there. So I huge wasn't leaning on it this time. Really, a few minutes. Yeah. Can I get another flower in or not? I don't know. How speedily can you flower? Oh. Let's have a look. Yeah. Look, the starting point with your Westerlies uh, is to get the ruler set. Uh, so that's what's on your screen at the moment. The ruler and the template. Now, there are two options there. Basically, my best advice for you is to phone our call centre with the make and model of your machine. So 0800 112 4433, and they will tell you whether you need high shank, low shank, medium shank, special shank, any other kind of shank. Um, all exactly the same effects of what you get. It's just what will fit your machine. So don't worry about that. And then when you start to add things on, like the feathers and things like that, you have to have this special foot first. Yeah. That's your starting point. So if you're brand new to Wesley's and this is your starting point and you've got lots to play with from there, then 129.99 there. If you are after things like the feathers, like the Baptist fan, things like that, then make sure you've got the starter kit and then start to add them in and you're gonna have so much fun. They're yeah. all on the website. Give us a call. 0800 112 4433. You would not be able to achieve this look, firstly, without a long arm quilter um, and a lot of expense, or uh, without sort of a, a lifetime's dedicated dedication to free motion <laughs> embroidery, quite exactly. frankly. So, this is the way forward, I think. Let's have a look. For the cost of having one of your quilts quilted. We've had a bit of drift on that, but we've got some. It's all right, there. you blame me for that. It's fine. <laughs> But you you won't see. have me at home distracting you. So, oh, wow, let's have a you look at this. You can see how quickly I've just um, done those two. You can see them. Two together. Can you see them? Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Two of those, very quickly done. Yeah. And so because you had that starting point and you, you drew out the, 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 first, know, the, the yeah. first bit, then you've been able to work away from that ever That's since. It. Isn't that fabulous? Isn't that fabulous? You Before your very eyes. Take your time and just build it up as you go. Yeah. And blame me and if it, you uh, wobble any. And it's all your own creation then. Well, that's what's lovely, isn't it? Do you want to see it from the front? What did I do it on? I was going to say, that's the only thing. I didn't realise what fabric I was stitching on, on the squiddly diddly. But you can still... <laughs> yeah, you, you can still see it. see it there, yeah. can't you? It does add a nice touch to these plain panels. It's really nice thing it to do. It gives more twist and shout to the twist and shout fabric. Yeah. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Fabulous. And the octopus now. And you see that it doesn't... It's, it's that little added extra. Yeah. It doesn't have to be... Isn't it? You don't have to go crazy. Angie, thank you oh, you're welcome. so much. We are be sadly out here. of time. We could do a whole morning on this. I know. Very <laughs> happily. Very <laughs> happily. But that's absolutely fabulous. Thank you so, so much. You're welcome. Come back again soon. Uh, do check out your baskets. Make sure that you get it because this will be the last one before Christmas. Yes. I'm not back till New Year. There you go then. <laughs> See you in a moment. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hello, my name's Jess Emmertal and these are my three top tips. My first top tip is, number one, iron as you go. Always press because you will never regret it, but you always will if you don't. Top tip number two, use small stitches. The smaller the stitches, the stronger the join in your fabric. Tip number three, it's only fabric. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Start again or change your direction. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. 
Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. On Monday, we're unveiling a beautiful new range of quilting fabrics, the Devon County Collection from the Quilters Guild. This is the second collection inspired by the Mariner's Compass coverlet made by Mary Cann in the early 1800s, and we're delighted to be sharing each one of the 22 new fabrics, especially with you. Go on a journey through the Devon County Collection with Jane Alcock and John Scott as they share the new range of fabrics with you filled with rich heritage colours and delicate prints. From geometric mustard and green designs to perfectly pretty florals, you'll be sure to wonder at the inspired collection available by the half metre. And especially for our viewers, Sewing Quarter has created limited edition bundles so you can create this amazing heritage quilt topper, including all the fabrics you need to replicate the quilt you won't want to miss out on your chance to have your own piece of quintessentially English history. So join us at 8am and 10am this Monday, the 11th of December, as John and Jane Alcock take an in-depth look at this stunning new range. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. This is our last live hour this morning. I'm Natasha McCarthy. This hour, joined by Lucy Brennan to go through making a little something like this. Very beautiful. Look at that. What a very different way to use your K-facet. Isn't it beautiful? Really beautiful. And look at the quilting in there too. Stunning. Now, this design came out of a brand new book that we have for you uh, today. Now, this was only um, published 3rd of August this year, actually. And this is by a very lovely man. This is called Use Scraps, Sew Blocks, Make 100 Quilts. This is by Stuart Hillard. Now, if you're thinking, where do I know that name from? He was a contestant on the Great British Sewing Bee. Now, actually, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that Stuart isn't really a dressmaker. Uh, he, he's a quilter, and that's what he loves to do. And when he signed up for the Great British Sewing Bee, there was, there was meant to be more quilting and things like that in there, but then it just became about dressmaking. So he got through to the quarterfinals and was absolutely thrilled with that because he's like, well, I, I, I don't dressmake. <laughs> it's amazing. How did I get this far? His real love lies with quilting, um, and he does it beautifully. He, he's um, Textile-wise, he's fabulous all round. He first learned to, to knit, actually, at the age of three. His mother taught him to keep him out of trouble. There he is, cheeky chap. And the very first thing that he ever knitted was a maxi dress for his action man. I don't think he'll mind me sharing that with everyone. <laughs> and, and so he's just always had this wonderful love of fabric. So he talks you through, and, and he, he says, he, he admits freely at the beginning of the book, what is a scrap, a scrap quilt? You know, that is opening up a whole can of words. Everybody has a different idea as to what a scrap quilt is. Is it one that you've used your scraps on? Because, of course, quilting originally came from using old shirts and things like that. But, or is it just that now you want to use up pieces, you have some cave and you can't afford, you don't want to throw a single bit away, how are we going to use it? So this is a great way to make those work for you. And this gives you, oh look, he even talks about organising your scraps, I, I need a bit of that. Um, and as he works his way through, lots of great hints, tips, piecing, um, all sorts of different pieces of information, how to cut, all those sorts of things. But then as you get into the main part of the book, you get 100 different quilting ideas. Ha! Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Producer Hannah says she just sit on the chair, just admire them for hours, absolutely hours. Um, the photography is lovely. Now, the thing is, you get, you get things like that, where you get the, the stunning photography, and that's your scrappy 16 pack. But you also get, with these, the layouts like that. 
which sometimes you don't always get when they're artistically photographed. You don't necessarily always get the, the, like how they would look full out. So you've got a hundred different block quilt ideas here. It's going to keep you going. It's really going to keep you going. Um, just a few favourites of mine. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? That, oh, yeah. But again, full step-by-step -step instructions. Gives you all the ideas how to do all of these. This is brand new today. Look at this. Some wonderful ideas all through here. So if you're just after a bit of inspiration, you see, this is it. We hear so often, oh, well, you know, my mojo's gone a bit. How do I get my mojo back? Something like this. So traditional blocks. Maybe you've heard of an orange, but you haven't thought of doing it like that. But just, it, you know, it might, be, it might be that it's just putting 100 different quilts in one place for you so that you've got it there as a reference. Use it as a reference library. What about that? I love that one. You know what I'm like with circles. That's the one for me, isn't it? Number, hang on, what number's that? Number 39. But they're very, they're, they're really easy to see what that finished look is going to be like. So you do have, you know, you, you've got the beautiful artistic photographs and they're for your inspiration. But actually, if you're sitting down seriously planning your next quilt, you need to see what that layout is going to look like how it's going to come together, piece by piece, bit by bit. Oh, I did him. I'll just move in there straight away now. It's wonderful, isn't it? So there's, a, there's everything covered from here, from um, your modern, yeah, ooh, look at that, from your modern, um, that's very, that, that's my kind of, that's my kind of colorway, I love that one. And this is your machine stitch cathedral window. And that's really lovely. What about that? Crayon box stars. It's about quilting whatever way you like, whether you just take each of these blocks and just do one or two. Fabulous. What a great book. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. I would just spend hours just looking at that. So mix them up. Do a block from here, a block from there. But that's what this book is about. It's about finding new inspirations to get you going, whether it's to do an entire quilt with it, whether to just do different blocks and do an entire sampler quilt. It's entirely up to you. So traditional ideas, new ideas, and then you've got templates in the back should you need them, then they are there, ready to go. Now this is $22.99. This is by Stuart Hillard. Off the Great British Home, be but you, uh, he is better known now for his quilting. So if you think of it actually as 100 ideas or 100 different patterns, then, you know, hang on, what are we looking at? 22 pence per pattern. Wow. Well, let's actually, let's go crazy and round it up to 23 pence. 20, yeah, 22 point, not, yeah, yeah, 23 pence per quilt pattern, bargain, absolute bargain. And a great gift and actually um, made by a jolly nice man. 22.99 LNMZ41, brand, brand new today. Do you know, he actually started out as a primary school teacher and aerobics instructor, yeah. From the book, Lucy's done this. So Lucy's taken one of the blocks. Oh, there we go. There. Beautiful. We've got two bundles so that you can recreate in your own favourite colourways. First bundle here with your browns. Now, this clever colours here, actually, because by having these, these browns and you get a metre of each, you're going to be able to make a lot more than that block, obviously. We've, that's, you know, this is just a, a, a sample. Like the book, it's a sample of all these different ways of making things. So you get um, a metre of each of those browns, but all of a sudden, these zesty, zesty, citrusy colours that Cave has suddenly become autumnal tones. It's very clever. I would never have thought of putting browns with Cave 
And yet, all of a sudden, those colours become autumnal. Brilliant. See, isn't that, yeah. Brilliant, just that oh, colours never fail to amaze me. So clever. Lovely, lovely. That's one option. But, you know, we're sewing cords. We like to give you more than one option. Always. Uh, so, how about keeping that brown, that base, well, that brace. Well, produce, produce Hannah says I feel like brown is a bad word, but it doesn't, it, doesn't sound, it doesn't sound very attractive, does it? It doesn't sound sort of, what, caramel? This caramel colour here, that sounds tastier, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, and navy. There you go. Yeah, she's all right with navy. It's just, it's like beige. It's not, not one of our favourite words either. Uh, but here we go. If you're after colour, producer Hannah, I've got all the colours. And actually, that beige, caramel, whatever you want to call it, brown, it, it does complement it beautifully, even if we have not complemented its name. There you go. Look at that. Yay! That's stunning. Now, Lucy. <laughs> That's what you've made? <laughs> yes. It's like they said, uh, well, just get Natasha to go under, over to Lucy underneath what you've made, which is why I was okay. hiding underneath. Right. But they actually meant to put a picture <laughs> of it up. It's fine. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming back. That's all right. <laughs> I'm always grateful. I guess I'm back for another go. <laughs> uh, now, <clears throat> 100 quilts. Did we tell yes. you what to do or did you get free reign? Um, I got to choose. Ooh. This is, I love applique. I love traditional. And I love making it a little more modern. So I think having those bright colours in there works beautifully. It does, doesn't it? Um, there was a lot to choose from, obviously. Where do you book start? Is, yeah, full of so many gorgeous quilts, so many designs. And what I really like about this book is I think he's very cleverly mixed traditional and more modern. So yes. there really is something for everybody. So it's not a book where it might just be specifically your taste. You're going to be able to make quilts that will suit at, you know, every, everybody's um, tastes and styles. That's, that's what so I really true, like isn't it? it? Just by changing the different colourways. I'm yes. looking at completely the wrong page, which is helpful. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I went to page number 58 <laughs> rather than quilt number 58 and found ice cream. <laughs> well, I was quite happy. But this is, the, this is where it's come from. Look at that. And yet, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> There. How dramatic. <laughs> well, Here. There. there. But then doesn't it look different? Firstly, when you can see it. Yes. And uh, so <laughs> yes, secondly, <that> helps. <laughs> Dr. Rob's going, all right, it's only, you don't need to like rub it in. Um, when it's all in, there with your flying geese around yeah, the edge. when it's repeated. Um, so that could just be a, um, a cushion cover, appliqued yes. beautifully. Yeah. Or the whole shebang. And that's part of the reason I picked it is this is a really big block. So you're starting with a 20 inch square. So if you want to make up the whole quilt, you can keep going and make up the whole quilt. If you just want to have it as a cushion cover or as a, as a mini or make, um, you know, two or three and have it be um, a table runner or something like that, there's lots of possibilities with it. But it's quite nice to work on a slightly bigger scale as well, I think. Yeah. Look at that. Fabulous. Where do we start? Okay. okay. I was going to say, with the amount of fabric that we get, because we get a metre of, of each of the browns and we get all of those fat quarters. Yes. You're going to be able to do quite a lot, aren't you? Yeah, you will be able to do quite a lot. If you wanted to do the whole quilt with the um, nine of these, you will need more of the um, background, but it will it'll presumably tell you in the information which colour it is, so you could get more if you wanted to do um, the whole quilt. But I... Uh, chose this colour for exactly the reasons that you just pointed out and it's got a nice warmth to it so anything that you that you lay on on top of this is is going to pop out but it's just it's warmer than using a white 
Yes. You know, or, or even a cream, just having that nice. I love brown. Can you tell? I really <laughs> love brown. And there is there has been a sort of funny thing in modern quilting that people, you know, have pushed brown to the side. But I think there are beautiful um, modern prints in brown. And I think it allows allows those colours to, to shine through. And it just has an earthiness that's so beautiful. I like the autumnal. Well, that's just it. Every well. year, um, I, I, I love autumn. Every year, I enjoy those colours. I enjoy the colour change, which is beautiful. And that's what that really reminds me of. I mean, people in America travel, don't they, to, to, yeah. to see the autumnal colours. Yeah. You know, it yeah. really is... Get yourself down at your local arboretum and have a look at some leaves. And there you are. There you go. <laughs> Would be mine to, but not right now, because obviously we've got a show to do. Um, <laughs> So we're starting off, we're doing a plique, we're starting off with this large square, as I mm -hmm. said, um, and we're going to do some um, bias tape. Okay. So you make up the bias tape with your bias tape maker. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, I think in the instructions it was, it's slightly um, smaller, but I have um, the half inch uh, bias tape maker. Yes. So that's the one that I've gone for. Okay. Is that right? Half inch? No, 12 millimetres it is. Yes. Sorry. So that's the one that I've um, gone for and used there. So I cut inch strips and then put it through the yes. bias tape maker. So, and then we need to trim these to size. So they need to be um, seven and a half. So I, when I make um, bias tape, I leave, I just leave the selvage, you know, I just cut the strips and I just leave the selvages on because it's quite nice. You've got that angle. You can just um, put it through but we want to have a straight edge. So I'll just snip that off. And then I'm gonna just cut these to seven and a half. You and don't need to be really do accurate with this bit. bit. Yeah, this is for the cross bit. So we need four of those. And your larger square, you are going to cut down. Um, so I think the final block is actually 18 and a half. So the, sorry, the very the final measurement will be eighteen. Trim but you the block trim it to down 18 to eighteen and a half. By and a half. 18 and a half. Yeah. So it says here. Yeah. I remembered. Well done. I know. Thanks. <laughs> it's not often that happens, but it is. You know, a lot of blocks that we're working with. You know, when we're quilting are, um, are quite a bit small. You know, twelve and yes. a half is sort of the standard, and that's generally the largest but it is nice to have patterns where you've got that option of making things slightly bigger i think that i would um be making the most of all my different caif colors here using those and i would just have an array of cushions big cushions yeah. with beautiful colors and you could even make it bigger if you wanted to add the flying obviously there's flying geese in this design as well and it's got all the instructions for making those so you could add the border of the flying geese if you wanted to make that bigger too so you see look this is this is the bit we're doing we're doing just that bit which is there uh, but then you got that additional flying goose detail <laughs> around <Singular>. the edge. <laughs> yeah. So um, to start off with, you want to find the centre um, of your square. And obviously, the uh, bias is on the diagonal. So we're going to fold the square diagonally and just give it a light press. You can just finger press. You don't need to um, press with the iron. It's just going to show us where the centre point is for our circles and where to lay the, the tape on. Let's fiddle with it a little bit. There we go. And again, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to worry too much about being too precise, so long as you've got your centre point. Yeah. Because you can trim that back. Excellent. Once, you, once you're done. So this is making up the design. So you just lay those on and it, you just start to get an idea of where you want to position it. I didn't bother like measuring exactly where they were because the central circle of the design is going to cover those ends um, right. anyway. Yes. But you want to try and make it so that it's roughly the same so that these yeah. points are all Yeah, I mean, you could if you wanted to measure out, then of course you can. You can yeah. see that centre point. You can measure out from there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends. If you're going to do, if you're doing a one-off cushion, it doesn't matter. Yes. If you, if you, how precise you want to be then, yeah. it depends. Yeah. But I also think with a design like this where it is... Um, a bit earthy uh, and yeah, organic. Yeah, nature. Yeah, organic. Go with the organic. Don't worry about everything being just so. And actually I noticed... Um, 
with the applique there in the illustration, the central circles aren't laid exactly um, on top of each other. They're no, not concentric. It's, it's, got it's slightly off. And if yeah, you look as well at the not. leaves, the, the spacing between the leaves, two of the um, opposite branches are the same and they're spaced out a bit further apart. And then the two other opposites, they're yes. closer together. Yes. So there's actually a difference in the spacing of the leaves already. So you can really play about with that. So I like things where, you know, these are just, this is a fun make. This is something you can just enjoy and not worry about or fuss over. Not, not stress about having yes, things exactly. absolute. So my tip for um, working with the bias tape is because, you know, it's fairly narrow and pinning is a little, you know, it can move Distort quite often. It, can't and it? we do want this to be fairly straight. I mean, again, <laughs> having said all of that, having said all yeah. of that, it doesn't, re it doesn't yeah. really matter. But when you're putting your leaves on, you know, it's nice to have it quite straight. So to keep it in position, I am um, glue. Yay. So I don't glue onto the bias because, again, that's just a bit fiddly and messy. 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 So I just go directly onto the background okay. like that. And then I can stick that down and hold that in place. And I do the same for all four, because when I'm going to applique it, I can just go then. I have to stop, but I can just go in a continuous stop line. Stop and go, stop and yeah. go. Yeah, so that just makes that bit um, quick and easy. And the glue um, will just wash out. So it's not a permanent um, glue, it's just temporary to hold that in place while I Originally stitch it down. Um, designed for your English paper piecing. And, and now used for so many different things, basting yep. in your zips and yep. this kind of thing. And like curves. We, yeah, the curves, yep. which I suggested that earlier because you showed us that the other day on a show, which was yep. brilliant. It just, ma it's just makes it so easy, you know, it just makes it so easy. And there's nothing worse than have spent your time preparing your applique pieces and then it... Wobbles off. Move. Yeah. So... Last one. Excellent. Um, are you someone that likes a, a spot of applique here and there? I love it. Really? Yeah, I really, really love it. I don't want a moment to think about that. <laughs> no, I don't need to. I absolutely love it. I think what's so nice is um, you can get such different design. You know, there's so many possibilities with it. That's yes. what, I, what I really love about it. And it's quite um, meditative to stitch. Okay. You know, because once you've cut out all your pieces, then you're just going ahead and, and stitching and it's just, and it's lovely. And, and depending on how you stitch, you can get a really different, you can get lots of different effects with applique as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and if I get time, I will show needle turn as well, because I do love a bit of needle yeah. turn applique. So we'll see. Um, so this book covers the lot. It's going to give you traditional blocks. It's going to give you applique. It's going to, well, 100 different ideas. So grab your book, what a lovely gift. There are some beautiful ideas. And, and also, you know, you don't always see, here, here you have the layout. That's, you know, if you were to put your quilt down on the floor, that is what it would end up looking like. Now, Lucy, do we need to be watching what you're sewing? Um, you don't need to, if you don't. <laughs> I'm going to do a blanket stitch. So right. I just made myself a little note um, what I'd used. On the 680, it's number 39. And I just increased my stitch length slightly. So I don't need it to be very, very close together. So, so. are you blanking, si blanking, sti blanket stitching? I can't even say it, let alone do it. <laughs> blanket stitching down the sides. Yeah, down sides. the sides of all of the stems. I just do them all at the same time. And then- So no messing around, just go for No it. messing around. What's, what I love about um, this machine, one of the many things is the applique foot just has a little um, gap there. Mm -hmm. There's just a little um, sort of a, you know, it's a gap in yes. the plastic. And so that's what you line up with this particular stitch. So it keeps it really nice and straight and okay. even. Uh, now the glue, uh, the glue pen, if you want to the glue pen that we just used for the applique, there it is. Do you know what, for 5 months, you just pop it in your basket, have it as a stocking filler, whatever. Just treat yourself, pop it in. You're gonna, you, you will find so many different ways to use it. Um, and you get a refill in there as well. That's looking lovely. Yeah. Oh, good job. Thank you. So I just get down to the end there and then I'm gonna stop and just jump uh -huh. and then keep going. 
Now, um, obviously this book is called You Scraps, Sew Blocks, Make 100 Quilts. So I'm just going to read you the introduction. And he says, oh my, I think I've just opened a can of worms. Let's talk about the strict definitions first and take it from there. For some, a scrap quilt is one that features a huge variety of different fabrics and in uh, which pretty much every block uses something unique and no two are quite the same. For others, a scrap quilt must use oddments, which is a great word anyway. Oddments, yeah. Yep, remnants and leftovers from previous quilts and dressmaking endeavours. A scrap quilt might also be one in which every fabric was purchased specifically for that quilt and no other. So it just has to have um, just lots of different fabrics in that you love. So we've brought you lots of different fabrics that you absolutely love. So while Lucy does blanket stitching up and down and all around, <laughs> I'm going to come and show you some fabrics. Because we've got the two bundles. But um, it might be, as Stuart says, uh, and we'll quote the man himself, it might be that you've brought fabric specifically for. So let's have, wow, where do I start? Let's go with Peacock down here. So if you missed the whopping great big cave bundle that we had yesterday and are still kicking yourself, here we go. For 42.99, you can get 10 fat quarters of beautiful, beautiful peacock cave. NQRW08. There you go. That's your peacock. Now this one here. Here we go. Now we've got five. So maybe this is the first time that you will have ever, ever used K facet fabric before. In which case, that's absolutely great. There you go. Just pick, basically pick which ones, the colors that you love. That sounds really silly. There are so many different shades and tones within here. There's so much choice. If you, if you love the zigzag or if like me, you absolutely adore that one, be like, yeah, that's the one. Okay, now, this one here gives you, look at all these reds. Whoa. And your zigzags and all sorts. Look at all those goodies. So this might be your starting point for cave where you're like, actually, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to do this. $21.99. Fabulous. Um, and that's for your red two. Now over here, you've got your greens. And this is your island one, I believe. Or have they just called it greens? Oh, it's just green one. Ah, oh. it's got some of the pattern ones that you do see in the island one, as in like, like Paradise Island, not the place. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, beautiful. Really stunning. So if you want green, huh? Huh? then it's there. Woohoo! Beautiful. Uh, if you would like, quite frankly, 10, because five isn't enough, here we go. Oh, you've got 100 quilts in your book, so you're not going to run out. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You're, you're going to run out of fabric before you run out of ideas with that book. Then here we go. How about all of those? That's your lipstick two. Beautiful. And you're getting 10 fat quarter pieces in there, so for 42 99 Now, they are our, our keef ones for you. Uh, but what other ones do we have? Oh, should we go with this one? Now here, if you've, oh, this is, um, this is your Boston Common nine piece fat quarter set. Now, funny name you might think, but Boston Common has uh, some of the oldest parkland uh, in America. And um, yeah, Boston is one of those places people go to look at leaves, isn't it? Uh, probably to the commons. And these, these colors, are taken from the traditional quilts that you'll find in that area. Look at all of those, very traditional colors. See, Lucy's gonna love this because it's browns. Browns, she loves it. Look at all of those. And also you've got those lovely warm maroons coming through in there as well. Actually, I'm saying browns, there's only one with, with kind of like, but that's on the top for Lucy. Lucy, it's for you. Uh, do you want to see uh, all the colors? Now, you see, I would be, you see, the first thing I'd be 
particularly excited when this arrived, but also uh, super excited because look, it's all kind of in, in a rainbow. Now this is your True Colours by Heather Bailey. So mix and match it all through, but if you, oh, now here's the thing. So this True Colour range, if you bought the Heather Bailey that we had on the earlier show, these, which were the options that we had with the quilt as you go, these colorways match through with, with that latest collection. So you've got all of these different colors. These are all geometric -y type prints. That one I love. Um, and they're just really rather fabulous in all those fresh colors. So you've got a, a whole rainbow. If you're buying it as a standalone thing, you've got a whole rainbow of colors going on there and different geometric, beautiful prints. I bet that's one of producer Hannah's favorites. Yeah. Woohoo! But you are getting 20 in there for $74.99. <sighs> With such an array within the book of modern or a twists on, on traditional, or, and actually traditional as well, all the way through to your, your heavily modern, you've got the whole plethora and smorgasbord in there. So we've brought you something to echo all of that. So if you want your traditional colored fabric, go for your Boston Commons. If you love CAFE, doesn't matter, any excuse, just get some CAFE on there. Uh, but if you want maybe a rainbow, maybe you want to do those circular ones in a rainbow, oh yes, maybe that's the way forward. Um, and then, you know, timeless dots. If you're just getting going and you're going, well, actually, you know, maybe you're buying the book as a gift and you want to set somebody off going with some fat quarters, then for $14.99, you've got some good old spots in there and some hearts. Can't go wrong. There you go. Lucy, I'm coming back. Okay. What you doing? Oh. <laughs> There you go. So <clears throat> for the next part, we're going to use a uh, bonder web. Right. So there are different methods um, for applique and Stuart goes through those in the book. Okay. So he gives you different options depending on the project, maybe depending on the size or the shape ha of how you um, want to do it. And I think he gives three different um, ways of doing it, which is nice because it's always good to have options. And I think if you've always stuck to one technique, it's always nice to try something yeah. different as well and um, to see what you prefer. So you um, have the templates for three sizes of the circles okay. and um, the leaves. And so you need to enlarge this from the book yes. um, by 200%, which I manage very easily on my um, very basic <laughs> photocopier that I have at home. Um, so it's not difficult uh, to do that. And then um, you're gonna trace these onto the bond web and cut them out. One thing to bear in mind and what you don't want to do is copy all three circles. Oh, because no. You can't come yeah, out. no, yeah. So yeah. you have to, um, you know, cut them out separately. Okay. And then the leaves, I think it's 20. I would have done that. To, yeah, I really nearly did myself and then realised what I was doing. Um, and then the leaves, I think there's like 24 something. Um, 24 leaves? Yes, right. 24 leaves. So that's where you can really uh, have a play about with the colours and, um, you know, use the different bits to, to make those um, branches nice and colourful. And if you wanted to do it more, you know, going from dark to light or vice versa, something like that, you could do... So if you had the Heather Bailey and you wanted to go through mm -hmm. the rainbow, you could... You could oh. Yeah, so there's, nice. there's lots of different um, looks that you can achieve yes. uh, with this pattern. And if you were to make more than one, you could do it differently the next time. I think the thing is, if you're using like. cave, even if you just used one of those fat quarters, you would get such a different effect because they're, they're, so, they're so busy, aren't they, the prints? Yeah. There's such a lot going on that you could just use one and then make a whole quilt out of what you had left over. Um, or, as you're going to do, cut into a bit of all of them. Yeah. So and um, this is the peacock. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, cross branch bundle. So when I was looking at the circles, I like to have the larger one be um, a darker cut because that's like the base. So it's okay. the bit that's near the branches. Yes. Do you see what I mean? So if yes. you have something lighter, it doesn't look, it doesn't give it as much sort of definition. So I want it to be bold. Okay. So I would go with a darker one on the back. Which one are you going for? For the largest one. Well, I probably would do that one. 
And then the next two, if you are, if you do have a range, I mean, they're all quite bold, but if, for example, with the Heather Bailey one, I wouldn't go with the very palest one um, when you're layering it up on top of things. Right. You know, I might save that for a leaf. Okay. Because there is a chance if you've got a bolder colour then that that's going oh, to come might. through yes, the other yes, print. Yes, Although you've got you. the Bondo web on it, so it's got a little bit, but, you know, maybe just have a play and lay them on top and see what it looks yeah. like. Um, and then it's just really up to you. You can play. I avoid um, stripes. Oh, for I was going circles. to go through there. Oh, would, yeah, honestly, I've done everything wrong you today can, in design. No, you can, but can you see it just, I don't know. It's not my favourite thing to do. Shall we just do it for the sake of it? Well, no, no, and then, if you don't want no, to. No, we can, no, it's no, fine. No, no, it's when we have so much choice, we I don't, don't mind playing. To. I just avoid it because it doesn't look as circular. I know that sounds a bit strange. I'd rather pick something to that's honest, got the way more... I cut, sometimes things don't look that circular anyway. Sort of that's why I need all the help I can get. <laughs> fluidity to it. And as we're getting smaller, I maybe don't want to go for one of the bigger prints because you're going to lose... Do you, do you see what We're I mean? narrowing you don't down our options. Yeah, so narrow down. Rapidly. So I would probably go for a busier one. Right. And then maybe go for one. I like that central. You know, I cut the, fussy cut the flower for oh, that one. Oh, nice. So yes. maybe I'd go for this one and find one that's going to be a good um, shape to fussy cut with this. So if we open it out. I do it from the back, but you can look at from the front, you know, to see if that's easier but obviously you're going to be sticking oh yeah back, because so you're going to be appliquing yeah the... and what find that one that works nicely yeah that's a nice size as well so you can go with that one so then um we're going to iron that on now you can i've just cut these out but you can just rough you should really just rough cut this and then lay it on because you've drawn out your circle so you'll be able to see where it is as you're doing it yes Yes. I just got carried away and have cut them out already. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay. Well, it we still works. We are comfortable with yeah, that. It's what, fine. What, hang on. This is where I need to make sure I get this around the right way. Do you, do you, do you... Is there going to be enough contrast with these? Well, well, we'll just do it anyway. Oh. Just for now. Find out, won't we? So that, those are your three circles, and we're going to lay layer those on. And then for the leaves... I actually didn't use any of the same fabrics in the leaves. They're all different from those. Go for it. Yeah, so I was only How cutting indulgent. small bits. I know, it's completely indulgent. It just meant I cut a bit from every single one, but it really shows the nice um, range. But you easily would be able to get, you probably get all the leaves out of one fat court if you wanted to do, to do it that way. But I think like Stuart says, it's nice to have the... Um, you know, the mix and that and that scrappy look, and you get that from using more. So having How very more decadent, options. Lucy Brennan. That's never a word Just. I'd use to describe myself, but... <laughs> but in this case... <laughs> in this case, yeah. A leaf, a leaf of cave. Yeah. From every fat quarter. Yes. Go for it. Yeah. So um, when I was doing the leaves, I really didn't, um, you know, have a plan for... What they were going to be i just literally cut out a little section the only ones that i did differently were the corners okay so the four corner Can I leaves and yeah of course the four corner leaves are um i think it's nice to keep those the same you don't have to of course you can completely mix it up but because we had that it had that nice bold zigzag print i decided to use that one in each corner okay so i might do that again with the stripe in this one and have that be the um, corner leaf. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to cut a circle out quickly, but. Would well, you want me to do that? It's I can not do that. something you can sort of rush. I yeah. say I can do that. Thanks. I know. That you can. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> so now I will just say the leaves. There's a template A and a template B, and I think B is the corner one. So it was four of B. Sorry. So it's four of B and twenty-four of A. I couldn't really see if there was a difference. That one has a slightly round think... the bottom and is slightly shorter. Okay, well, there you go. You can see it, I couldn't see it. But um, I don't think that anyone's going to... No. Go, no. oh, my goodness, you didn't do enough of B. No. <laughs> Brennan, they might. come on. They what, might. Were you think what were you thinking? Let's not lose our... 
I don't think anyone would say that. Circles, I hope not. Um, I, I do, Lucy, they're not our friends. No. No. I do like using a mechanical pencil for tracing because it has a nice smooth um, line and also it's not too thick, but it's, you know, you can see it really easily. And we then... Have different colours on the website for you there, depending on, you know, this is... Yeah. They're really handy. And I will say for the circles, because for a lot of people that's, you know, well, that is one of the trickiest shapes to um, copy out is a circle. So if you didn't want to trace the circle onto the bond web, you could just find circular objects in your house that are the same size and um, draw around the bottom of them. So like that one might be a spool, you know, a roll of tape, something like that. Oh, beautiful. The sad thing about that, Natasha. No, 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 it's okay because oh, are I know you okay that's with gonna it? get covered. Are you all right with it? But you see do you know I'm... what I would do? I what? would just do two. Would you? Yeah, because that's so pretty. I just, I wouldn't do the third one. Yeah, I just forget it and just um, go with that. Hello, Kay. Bit of, bit of, we've just, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Stuart. I like that. But you see that, so theoretically you should have a third one in the middle. But that's okay. It's scrappy. So we can do some with two and yes. some with three and some with one. You he could, won't You mind. could change it. He no, won't mind. He won't mind. He won't mind. He might be watching. Hello, <laughs> I did tell him yesterday. I was like, oi, mister. So if we do, um, do you want me to iron that onto there, by the way? Sorry, I'm on. That one too. Um, I'll, I'll place them in the centre before we are. Yeah, I'll delay I'm not trusted to do that. You no, can, no, no, you can. <laughs> I would layer it up. I, you need to put the... I want to get that one on first so that it's completely stuck down. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just and I'm then, carried away. And then do that one. Because okay. sometimes it won't... It probably will stick through all the layers. But especially if you've got three, you want to do each one individually uh, yes. rather okay. than going through um, all of them. But you could iron those onto there for me. Um, <gasps> with, oh, do we get with to something use that has stripes like this, mm -hmm. if you were wanting to do what I've done um, in the corners there, I have it all the same way. Right. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can put them wherever you like, but you might just want to be conscious of are they going that way or are they going well, that Lisa, way? I was going yeah, to do, do some of these. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, this is the joy of fabric. And then we fabric. can layer these um, on. And I nearly uh, stuck it on the wrong side. That's the other trick. And these... I'm getting so excited about it all. Yeah. Because um, these shapes are larger as well, that, you know, it is easy to cut out. And now she says easy to take the backing Scra off. Scratch it with a pin. Yeah, I know. I, do. I'm, I have this really funny thing where I'm really stubborn. Oh, and really? I just like to, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to scratch it with a pin. Because <laughs> this one doesn't want to come off. You did it so well that it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You are excellent at bonder webbing. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll add that to my CV and general life achievements. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Thanks. So you want to, pos now you can, if you do want to be very precise about it, you could fold this up and position it exactly, oh, you know, over the center. Or you can just guesstimate and um, just stick it in place. So then, once you bind those ones, you can um, stick that one down. Done. How many of those teardrops uh, leaves should I have? Um, tw tw 24 of A and 4 of B. <laughs> but I've, we're just I've doing two. two. <laughs> yeah, we're doing two. Because I won't have time to do all that many. Just imagine more. Yeah, just imagine it's more. It's like the beginning of autumn. Exactly. Before, before the winds It's just hit. starting to... Just, yeah, Bloom. just, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And you could as well if you wanted to, because of, because of the shapes of these leaves, I think, you know, you could make it sort of blossomy and have, mm. have pinks and things as the, as the leaves. That would look really pretty. I'll do this so you can do that one. <laughs> I'm ready. Got my iron at the I ready. know, I oh, see you there. It kind of ready. looks like a peacock thing now, doesn't it? Look at the that. purple. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, wow, was a fun. Am I just... Uh, okay, so in the book, in the yes. book, uh, Stuart goes a bit off-centre. Yeah. Do you want me to do that or not? As you please. Either or. I'm not going to tell do... you what I'm aiming for in case it goes horribly wrong. Yeah, go <laughs> off-centre. I centred the ones in, in the autumnal version um, 
just because that was the mood that I was in. Would that I feel the pressure? No. <laughs> but you Good can do try. as you like. I think quite often things like the decisions like that are fabric dependent in a way. It's the look that you're going for. So depends on what fabric you've used, whether you want it to be, Obviously. you know, a bit funkier or. Oh, I'm loving so, this. So pretty. Doesn't it look pretty? Look at this so far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could leave it just like that, couldn't you? <laughs> like a sort of target quilt with an X and an O. <laughs> Noughts and crosses. <laughs> oh, you do crack me up. I might be I would do that. I think that's nice. Um, yes, actually, I just want to talk about something before we iron it on. <laughs> Sorry. So I've forgotten now what I traced. One was A and one was B. Oh, they're different? Oh, so you wouldn't well, tell, that's would what you? I'm saying. You can't, I, I found it difficult to tell. I don't think well, it matters. if you put one over the top of the other? One is one and one. I don't know. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see in the final thing anyway. It's so fine, I'm not sure if it was just that it was different because they're in the corner. Yeah. You know, to have the four in the corner be slightly different. So anyway, so when you come... Get off me, baby. <laughs> Oh, producer Anna just said, um, B, you need yes. to be basket aware. Loads of you have Stuart's book in your baskets. Please check out and make sure that's the only way that you're going to get it. We've, I mean, think of how much fun we've had. I know. Just on one. You've got another 99 yeah. to play with. And it's, it is really, really clever. And, and there are, I was saying to you this morning, wasn't I, the whole front section is really, you know, all the techniques and everything. It's really thorough. It's very well written. Um, and it's very easy to follow. The instructions hey, are very look, easy to follow. Stuart used to be a primary school teacher. There you go. And I think that's what really comes across in his book. Mm -hmm. not, I, I don't mean that he talks down to anybody no, or, not or you know, makes it um, you know, too easy or anything like that. It's just yeah. that his instructions are clear because he's used to explaining things yeah. in a clear and concise way. Absolutely. That's what I was and trying to a, get to in a really is... non-clear and concise way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very easy to follow. It's broken down really nicely. And it's not stiff. You know, there's a there's a, a warmness to his writing, and That's it's Stuart. and it's friendly. I think yeah. anybody that has ever met Stuart Hillard knows that he is warm, he is bubbly, he will just generally encase you in a big bear hug, and that's just that's him. Yeah. In fact, you know, if Freddie wasn't at school, I would I would want I would want Stuart as Freddie's teacher because he's just he makes everything fun. He yeah. makes everything. Yeah. You hear and you his get giggle that. before you, you see get him. that vibe from from the book and that's what I really yeah. like about it. So doing the leaves. He's got me in a lot of trouble. He's for, a naughty, <laughs> naughty man. For the um, ones at the tip of the bias tape, because obviously we're going to be covering this section here now um, with the leaf. Yes. So when I'm doing that, because you want them all to be similar. I mean, you don't have to, but it's nice. Um, what I did was I want to cover up this corner as well. Make sure I probably should have trimmed that off, but make sure that's properly covered up. So I just went, you know, if I'm going like this, it's not being covered. So okay. I just went down to where it's just covered those corner edges like okay. that. And then centre this point along the bias. Beautiful. Tape, okay. And then with the leaves, now what's fun about this is, because it's up to you, there's not actually a guide of where to put them. Obviously, you've got the illustration, so you can have a look at that. And that's where I noticed that they were spaced differently. yes. yes. And then what I found was it's the easiest way of laying them out so that they're meeting is to imagine that there's a line running across oh, okay, here. Okay, right. so if you imagine that there's a, a line crossing the bias tape, straight line, and then you can easily have those um, matching on either side. But then if you change the angle, can you see how it starts to give yeah. a different look? So you can make it more sort of flowery you know, like petal, petals um, of a flower or have them straighter across. I wouldn't really... Or you could have them like that, couldn't you? But do you know what? It's funny, isn't it? Because I'm, I'm absolutely mesmerised by the kaif fussy cutting that we've done there because suddenly it's looking... You could suddenly have a whole peacock tail yes, coming up. Yes, you could. That's, oh, this is the joy of fabric. I wouldn't you have know, them going down because it sort of looks sad, although that makes a flower look. 
Oh, yeah, but no, no, yeah, yeah. Mm. That leaves it, but that's like the upside down, yeah. isn't it? Oh, the bundle that we're using, which we've absolutely loved. I mean, how much fun have we had just with yeah. this fabric? Um, is the peacock fabric, and this is the peacock crossed branches bundle. They don't want to make that easy for me to say, do they? Um, <laughs> a fat quarter pack and fabric. You get a metre of fabric um, in there, and it's £55.99. And, and just talking of um, fussy cutting and things like that. Yes, please do. What I noticed as I was cutting out the leaves is with a print like this, Ooh. for example, you've got so many different colours. And if we're cutting out just this section, yeah. you see how many varieties, of how many different leaves you're going to get just from that one print. Well, you so know if what you didn't I'm want to wanting use, to do go on. Is, is take it so that I, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. already wanting to echo that so yeah. I then get kind of the veins on my leaf echoed through. Yeah, and if you did that all over, oh. there's enough variety just in that one print to do all of your leaves if you wanted, and then you'd have all this other fabric to, fat to play about with. Yes, why not? Because you're going to get, it's going to look different because you've got all these different shades it's gonna and colours in there. It's going to look stunning. So that would be a really nice option as well. And similarly with um, that print, because you've got all different colours. No, you can't cut that on. <laughs> it's my favourite one. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't cut into that. <gasps> look at it! Uh, <gasps> But, you know, Every the different effect that that one. would give you and look at all the different colours and the different shapes of these petals that you could have in this one project, but it would give a completely different look. So they're beautiful fabrics for something like this, for a plique. I love this fabric so much that I just made a plain cushion just a bit. Yeah. No. That was it. I couldn't cut it. Yeah. I, I, it I, is I, beautiful. I don't, I don't know where to... No, just... That's it. That was, I love that, that colourway in that oh. as well. So those are just some different options and ideas that I had as I was um, going along. Um, I, li I like that scrappy look. It's something that really appeals to me. And I really do like as well the addition of the dots because I think it just adds something to it, maybe makes it a little bit more modern than if you just had all of the floral type um, prints. So that's something to bear in mind as well. Though I didn't go dot heavy. I tried to... Not used. You didn't too, go dotty. I didn't go dotty. Good. Some of the I used more of some of the other prints than I did of the dots because I didn't want the dots to overtake. Yeah, no, I see what Can you mean. Can you see that? So I, you see the nice thing about the cave dots is that some are absolutely regimental and some are more organic anyway. Yes. Yeah. Which you can see there. It's just lovely, Lucy. Yeah. So then um for appliquing these sections for the um Circles, I used the same blanket stitch that I used oh, nice. um, for the branches. Okay. And then for the um, leaves, I just went with a zigzag. So can I pull this one in? Yeah, sure. If you have a look on this one, what I did was I used uh, dark brown for the, for the brown. And then mm -hmm. for the leaves and the circles, I've used the same colour. Uh, so they all blend in. Yeah. This so is I your citrus bundle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I used an orange, um, slightly orange toned thread for the circles and the leaves. And the reason that I did that is then you're not focused on the stitches, you're focused on the, on the design okay. more than the stitching. Um, this is the citrus bundle. It's down the bottom there. Uh, so that gives you your citrus cross branches bundle there, 55 .99. Uh, With your book, please check out your baskets. Lots of you sitting with that in your baskets. It's only yours once you check out. I don't want people disappointed. If you've got your heart set on this, this is Stuart's latest book. It was only released in August, August the 3rd, I believe it was published. So if you are, oh, just get it and have a look through. If you're... Over half of the stock has already gone. Um, and if you're watching on repeat, you know, please make sure that you, you're... You can't resist, can you? No, I can't. Just I'm just going to... Somewhere. Um, please make sure that you've checked out your baskets for that. Uh, Marilyn says... Morning, Natasha and Lucy. Another wonderful show. Thank you. <laughs> Go on, say it, sorry. Thank you. How about a four-block quilt representing the four seasons? Yes! Yes! Brilliant I had exactly idea. the same thought. Yeah, it would be so beautiful. It would work really, really well. <sighs> different colours for the different um, leaves and stems. When you're making something beautiful like that, what you need is some beautiful Yes, you threads. do. 
Yes, now these were our so special. These were our nine o'clock launch. Now, okay, you can't get these in the UK. If you go to Anna Maria Horner's site, some of these are sold out. You'd have to pay your tax and you won't get the free court, the fat quarters. We are into single figures of these. What you are getting are 10 Aurifil threads, two fat quarters, which we've had put in for you, and a pattern to make a pincushion. Oh, there you go. There's, there's the, uh, that's everything that you're getting in there. So that single fi figures for that, that is your warm one. That's the warm. So um, with the two 50 weights, warm colours, cool colours. I think you can see why. Mm -hmm. So this is your cool colours. So need all of these. Yeah. So Anna Maria Horner has gone to Orofil and she's chosen exactly which colours she wants in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are the ones that she's chosen. My favourites. Single figures. $39.99. Great. Oh, well, when I say single figures, what I actually mean is four. Which is single figures. I mean, I'm not wrong. It's just like, <laughs> you know, less than you might have expected. Uh, now, these are your 12 weight. So this is great for your hand stitching. Yeah, yeah. And just a really gorgeous looking book. Yeah, and you can use it in your machine as well. Uh, but use it on the top rather than the bottom. Yes. Um, you can use these with a plique and all sorts of goodies. And this is the one that has that beautiful um, tonal threads, two tonal threads. Variegated. Ver is the other way of yep. saying what I'm trying to say. Thank you, Lucy. Good job. You're here. Right. $39.99. And again, single figures on that. Yeah. What would I do without you? <laughs> You'd be fine. Um. <laughs> you at home might not be. But yeah. Have I got time to talk about quilting really quick? Well, yeah, just, just okay, very, very, very quickly. Say. I did free motion quilt that. Yes. With Aurifil thread. Ah. It blends in beautifully. That's the 50 weight. So you get that texture with the quilting. Yes. Um, but it, you know, it's, n it's not overpowering. That's what I'm trying to say. It's very beautiful, the 50 And weight. that's why the 50 weight is great. So yes. the two with the social climber on have your 50 weight in. And the other is 12. So just be aware of how limited we are. It is an incredible price. Incredible price. Not only that, but we've put two fat quarters in there as well. I mean, ah, it's Christmas. We've got to celebrate it. You've got to celebrate it. It is a collector's limited edition. How special. <laughs> it's why it's so special. You see. Can't help it. I know you can't. The me saying that. I know this is a terrible thing to say. The quality of the thread is incredible. But those boxes are so beautiful. <laughs> You're going to cry. I know. Oh, it's just so I beautiful. Might. They are so beautiful. And I love her designs. I'm a huge fan. We all know I this. I would never have guessed. I know. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. And it's just so lovely seeing her prints on a box like that. Right. Let's see what you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to do um, zigzag, yes. a zigzag stitch on this one. And just one little tip. I'm going to start at the point, two tips. One yeah. is I reduce my width and my length of my stitch when I'm doing a zigzag. Depends on the look that you're going for. Um, but I don't want it like a satin stitch. I still want to see the zigzag. Right. But if you, if you keep it smaller, it's actually easier. Okay. And the results look better. So I have um, a width of two and a length of one for this um, zigzag okay and then when i'm starting i'm not actually starting at the very tip of the point of the leaf i'm just starting slightly down so that when i come back around i've not got a lot of threads um overlapping each other oh, okay so if you start just a slight way away you don't get that bulk of where all the threads you know are going together and then you literally could just go around. The nice thing about keeping your stitches smaller is when you're going around a curve, it makes it easier. And third tip, because I'm going to throw them in there. I like to, when I'm stopping and pivoting, I like to stop on the outer edge of the nice. zigzag because I'd rather have more zigs going across the, the fabric than a space on the outer Lucy, part. Lucy, thank you. That makes sense. Lucy, back tomorrow, everybody. Uh, now, please make sure that you get these. Should we see what you're doing tomorrow, Lucy? Let's have a look. Yes. It's just in case you don't know. Um, 8 a.m. Festive Table Runner. Oh, yes, yeah, I yeah. remember that there one because I Good. designed it. And, oh, even better. Yeah. 9 a.m. Ashmi Designs. Beautiful. If you like your English paper piece and do not miss that. Then 10 a.m. Sewing Organisers. Lucy can organise us there. And then 11 a.m. Guess what? More Ashmi Designs. Now, beautiful. Yeah, nice. Uh, here's something else that's rather beautiful and nice. 
Oh, there you go. Oh. There's you. Uh, if you go to the website, look at this. There's a 50% on our subscription things. So click on that banner at the top and pick which magazine, or all three, and you can save 50% on our subscription. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's amazing. It is. <laughs> I'm quite shocked at that. Just, you know, throw that, that, that little one in. Or um, get it for a gift for somebody. That would be really nice. Yeah, if you have you a friend know, yeah. that sews or somebody that's wanting to get into quilting, that would be a lovely gift. We are out of time. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know, I don't know where to go. Thank flown. you so much. <laughs> thank you at home for watching. And also thank you to Angie Act for brilliant shows all around. Thank you ever sure so much. Um, I will see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order. Or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.